Okay, rolling audio and video. Trying to correctly type page into Google Chrome so I can go to my patron list. Because, you know, we have to fill it with, like, 5 million search results that I don't want. Allow me to go on a brief tangent now that we're on recording. Did you know that you used to be able to turn off the search feature in the address bar of Chrome, but you can't now? Oh. I've double-checked all the guides that do it. That function is no longer there. I am incensed. Anyway, welcome to Star Wars. We're not here to talk about Google Chrome. Uh, where we last left off, and also I think you guys can still see Destiny, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, it should still be on the page. Yeah, it's okay. right there. You can see what we rolled. We got the minimum too dark. Um, we are leaving duty and stuff where it was, as we did last time. Uh, and in case you uh, you haven't tuned in in like a week or you forgot or whatever, uh, currently Arma is unconscious. Lucky you may begin uh, LARPing now. <laughs> blech, blech. I think um, we need to have... And you guys have uh, just won your victory over the command post in the Lagoon base. And in fact, yeah. that is why Arma passed out, because her buff that made her win threshold higher ended when the encounter ended. <laughs> Good job, buddy. <laughs> so uh, you guys are standing... Uh, well, actually, will, did you guys spend anything on your EXP from last time? Oh, oh I think I bought Durable because of Scars. Oh, did you take Durable with a Scar? Uh, yes. Yes, I believe that did come up because we discussed think... the Battle Scar system. I think and I was you did get booped on your, your Noggin. Shirt. Yes, so there's probably like a four-hit Scar or something. I, I know that Lucky have... has been debating his uh, Scar choice, but... Uh, Darmos passed out right now. She can't. She can't buy anything. <laughs> okay. I've um, gone ahead and. Oh, sorry, Mars. You go ahead. You I went first. ahead and. I I went ahead and bought brawl up to level four. Oh, sorry, not brawl melee because I feel like I need to do that more often. Considering what happened last time, so. <laughs> Should probably get you a better melee. Well, I'm about to say I don't know if it's a question. If it's a question of your skill, I think it's a question of your choice of weapons. You know yeah. you have a you know you have a knife that's like pierce one accurate one right, and you have a or giant yeah. anyway. stick. Well, yeah. Eh. yeah, yeah. Okay, so I got. Oh no, it's pierce one vicious one. Sorry. Okay. I thought it was. Okay, so I purchased the talents uh, hard headed one and two. So. Oh nice. Wait, actually. Uh, don't you have a, t a talent that lets you re-roll heavy ra ranged heavy? Is it ranged heavy? Yeah, uh, yeah, like trooper. It's like ranged heavy, like and artillery, <laughs> gunnery. <yeah. laughs> oh no! Thumbs up, everybody. Thumbs we remember up. our character sheets. <laughs> I kept track of my rerolls, but I hey, can't to be fair. Nobody brought that up. Yeah, I know. Again, it's like one of those things. It's like in hindsight, I'm just thinking is, about it. It is once per session. I don't think he used it, but no. it is probably something we should have remembered, but we didn't. <laughs> I can't think of mine, but that's because get the drops important. To a well, yeah, you, you, well, you also, I think you, you used, you may have used your reroll on stealth. Mm. I oh, think man. I might have, yeah. What oh, a no, great morning my birthday has been so far. I think yeah, I have natural, I think also have natural sharpshooters. I think yeah, I can do you. also the range check rerolls too. Uh, Naturals are weird. Anyway, yeah, yeah. um. You guys are here right now in the command center. It's it's filled with um with smoke and ozone and the tang of blood in some of your mouths. Some of you have wounds, damn it. Yeah. Uh, I think our wounds. medic needs to uh, apply heal to everyone. Okay, well, you've so... got an unconscious commander on the ground, and you've got yes. a mostly fine commander not on the ground. Okay, and also so she's an otter. Just like, uh, <laughs> well, I was just going to turn to look at boost for my like. Dude, side, significant side eyes, like, go and heal Arama. All right, well, you want to do, like, how, do you, how do you feel about this, buddy? You've been ordered. <laughs> the bomb uh... explode. There you go. Okay. No, I stepped away for a second. What did I miss? Oh, you've been ordered to fix Arama. Like, you should really sick, you should really give us the secret sign because you're the medic. You're kind of important. I'm sorry. I boots would have done that anyway. But yes, let's do this. You want to step back her first in the medicine check or what? Well, okay. So we've we've been keeping track of stim pack uses. All right, we're gonna preemptively spend a light side point. Um, because this will be a hard medicine check because she has exceeded her wound threshold. Um, you, but, but I believe Arama has. One stim pack use because you automatically used one. It stopped you from passing out the first time. 
and uh, I I believe Boots and Camo each have two so far in the 24-hour yeah, period. Yeah. Which is why, like, I need to have Boots apply stint back to me where it's not actually doing it. Hmm. What the, what the uh, fuck, game? No, that's Dream not, not going to do it. I am at 23. Well, well, uh, you heal... Uh, is it also two extra or three extra? How many Two extra. You okay, so you I heal three. Have... So on 21 of 20. And okay. I have no strain. I am sleeping yeah. very slow, soundly. Can I spend uh, that advantage to roll again? No. 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 But yeah, so you've, like, you've well, healed her for this like encounter. Oh, okay. You, you apply... You apply first aid to Arama, you know, uh, she, she's got quite a few blaster wounds because she was shot quite a lot in the back oh, yeah, uh, she has a crit to heal the back the front the everywhere actually honestly i have actually two, two crits. crits they're both hard actually, just roll yeah she has two roll critical roll injuries crits, as well yeah. so yeah she's pretty beat up your initial your initial pass though of first aid you know bandages anti-burn foam etc uh, packs them back to her wounds. She's stabilized. You're not concerned about her long-term health, but she is not going to be conscious anytime soon at this rate. Um, mm. So roll to heal her crits, I guess, and then maybe you'll probably get her up for advantage. Go do that. We'll help you, I, I guess. I don't care. Just think that it's like three, two more on each of those. It's a rough math with the character tracker. So because healing... I do not care about Dewey being... So what around. was her critical injuries... They're it's both back. hard, I believe. Yep. Uh, one's 94 at the brink. The other one is horrific injury, brawn. I was... Oh, yeah. say we we're helping so, you. So I, we add... okay. I'm really concerned. That was the first one, by the way. Yeah. Uh, at the okay, let me, uh, let me also check what your thing is. Also, shush, X. Sorry. I, I believe I am allowed to, like, take limits on skilled and unskilled assistance. I don't actually know what you guys are good for in surgery. I mean, we have medicine, I think, so... Do we you? Have, we do have medicine. We don't have much of it, but we used to have points in it. Okay, I, first... Hold well, on, I'm hearing yeah, you used to have it. points in it? Oh, okay. But do you do you actually have a point of medicine? I do. Okay, you can offer assistance. It'll just be a boost die, because I'm fairly certain your intellect and medicine are not as good as boots. It's not, so it's more just... Yeah. But you can assist, so you can... Well, uh, first of all, go ahead and roll another boost die for your first check, because Camo would be assisting. It's oh. another advantage. Six advantages. Uh, heck. That's oh, in, sorry. In... That, that was that was for the. Okay, never mind. I mis I misheard what you said. Because all that check. success. Yeah. I thought it meant no, that'll be very, for your very Yeah, that'll be for your second one. Um. You'll roll two this time. But uh, yeah, no. Heck. Um. Wow. And with med and with medicine, one of the uh the skill groups that's least defined in what the heck you should be doing with uh. With advantages and successes and stuff. Right. I'm gonna pull open my handy dandy holocron to double check when the when the ratio on healing critical injuries is. It's I like know you can only heal you can only attempt to yeah, so revive weak. naturally like a month. Like a week? Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, boots, you should roll your second hard crit injury check. So we'll say the first one is for the at the brink, because Lucky listed that first. Okay. So the horrific injury brawn is fixed. Yay. I will spend 10 uh, XP and buy... Wait, what was it? Durable? Was it durable? No, Enduring. Enduring. Yeah. Yeah, we, got, we talked about Enduring, yeah. Yeah, I have, a handy, I have a handy dandy chart for, like, what the book has called out for extra uses of, like, things for skills. Medicine is literally not on it. Oof. It goes leadership mechanics negotiation. Thanks, person who made a visual aid. I appreciate the other stuff, but it would have really fucked up your formatting to put medicine in there. Just saying. I'll make a I scar. think at least Arma's not back up because she heals that at least. Does she heal three wounds? Does she? Does she? Maybe Tell me, Axe. Does, does it? Recovery and healing. I mean, haven't we done, it usually only works with like... Oh, we had done the past, but... It yeah. depends on the context. I'm double-checking how we're working on the thing. Okay, medical care, once per encounter, medicine check to heal wounds. Okay, I think that's... Yeah. So it's just a critical injury. One. Attempted once per week, even if the critical is expel, expired, land injury last didn't make the subsequent worst, and it just stops. Yeah. Uh, 
But yeah, so usually when we do healing critical injuries, because uh, healing is in a in a weird in a weird uh, y you know damage acceleration you know game design thing, uh, healing is a lot harder and slower than hurting people. The game really rewards you to fucking murder the shit out of people. But if you want to heal people more, it's fucking slow. But anyway, uh, yes, you can probably allow Arama to recover up to three wounds because she has no gosh darn strain left. Those advantages. I would like to do that, please. Right. Okay, Arama, you heal three more wounds. I am at 18 of 20. I am conscious. All Barely. right. All right, so Arama, you do the classic... <gasps> You know, uh, your everything still hurts. You still have the at the brink. Yeah, crit. I do believe that is only for an encounter, so the effect is no longer chasing you, but you do still have the injury. Yeah, basically, yes. So I, I'm not, I'm not fully here at the moment. Okay. Big sneeze. Um, but your brawn has recovered. Yes, I have eight soak now. So whatever, whatever uh, horrible muscle injury. Uh, you had from getting blasted a lot by a lot of droids is is patched up you're uh, probably yes. covered in bandages oh well, wait uh, and, and then compresses and whatever and then oh, boots wait, will I use a stim pack the run one i think i might the run okay. one then so this is stim pack number two on rmi which would normally be four but how many shots of stim pack specialization do you have i believe two Let okay so check. that means rmi heals yes. six off the stim pack okay does that put you below half? No, that puts me at 12 of 20. All right, do one okay. more time, though. No, uh, Armand's going to wave away any more uh, medical assistance and, you know, groan, grunt, and, you know, get to her feet. She'll look around and be like, what shot me? Me. Arama, I w as much as as much as Boots is being self-effacing, I would like to point out, uh, you know for a fact in that battle, uh, you have many many blaster holes. Yeah. <sighs> I think that's Boots? right now. What's that at your hip? Yep. What is that? What is that long, shocky stick? What is that? It's my long, shocky stick. What is it good for? Beating into melee. Yes. Now, what's that in your hands? My rifle. What is that not good for? Shooting into melee where your allies are. Exactly, Boots. Now, when we get back, we're going to make sure that this is drilled into your head. But for now, Arma will stretch and wince. We have other things to worry about. Ugh. Yes. Yeah. So you guys are standing, you know, mm -hmm. in the uh, in in the command center. Uh, like I said, there's a there's a faint whiff of of uh, Tibana gas ozone in the air. Uh, smoke rises from a couple of consoles because uh, boots went apeshit with <laughs> auto fire, not on Arma. Um, so, like, you know, consoles are shot up and everything. Um, there's, you know, chunks of transparent steel glass scattered all over the floor from the couple of windows you guys blasted out in a hail of gunfire as well. Yeah. Uh, all kinds of fun stuff. So, all you're right. in the in command the are are pivotal things broken, or is that just flavor text? Mm, no, no, nothing important okay. is broken. Nobody, well, nobody fucked up seriously enough to break anything actually important. All right, well, let's check the rooms, and I'm curious where this hecking turb, this turbo lift goes. Yeah, is it a turbo okay. lift? Or well, is it a... uh, I mean, yeah, it's an elevator. I believe all of those are classes turbo lift. It is specifically a like uh larger scale there's a word for this in my notes me <laughs> it exists somewhere displays map com board crew post that's outside cargo elevator yeah okay that's Car what i wanted it's very the very end yes specifically it is a large cargo style elevator okay 
right, so, okay. So, let's, let's... There is the ready room, which you can clearly see into. It was filled with BX Commando droids and is now filled with droid corpses. I'm about to say, it fills with scrap! There is also another darkened ready-type room, like, opposite the ready room. Looks like it's a similar yeah. style of room, but it's dark and closed up. Can we turn it appeared to have no reaction to your ruckus. Okay. So, okay, so yeah, we have uh, three points of interest, I'll say, here. We have to see whatever information these consoles have. We need to see yes. what's in that ever that dark room is. It's dark. Yes. It's spooky. And we need to oh. figure out what's up with this uh, elevator, where it goes. Yeah, I'll... So people make checks. I'm going to I'll try not to die. I'll go check the other dark room. All right, Wevu pops open the door. You go in. Yeah. You flick on the light switch. Yes. Click. Okay. Ping. The little fluorescent lights go up. Everybody's filled with, you know, sterile white light ah. opposed to the dim blue glow of uh, all the, the holographic screens and shit. Uh, basically, this is a storage room. Um, you see racks of PK series labor droids, a pretty standard uh, worker droid okay. that are uh, commonly uh, manufactured and used by a lot of groups. Uh, they do labor they lift they lift heavy things they push things okay they clean uh so yeah you see racks of you know maybe a few dozen of those because they can fold up pretty small you see some hover carts to move supplies and that's about it maybe you see some like cleaning and basic re repair tools in the back corner it's okay the, it's the broom closet <laughs> I yep. mean, it's a very large broom closet, but basically, yeah. <laughs> just, she'll just come back. It's like, uh, just labor droids and hover carts and clean supplies. Got a janitor's room. I check, uh, we'll probably check the elevator as well. But Can someone get on the consoles and find out what's going on in this place? I beg you, I'll go. I'll have camera go okay. do that. Cats. All right, so there's basically... Uh, well, actually, so there's you. F you figure that there are uh, there are three or four main features of this command post. First of all, you have a large com board, uh, which is linked to a lot of things. Uh, you've got different channels and intercoms. You can um, call out to. Apparently, there are checkpoints into the base out in the jungle. Oh, interesting. Uh, there are, uh, you know, uh, various calls to. The, you know, shielded bunkers in places, uh, weapons and placements, etc. And you've also got links to uh, something listed as uh, the submarine dock and the moon pool. And also, it, it does have an intercom, so you could call your boys back at the main mountain base if you wanted. Cool. So, so there's the there's the com board. So okay. considering all the comms information, like, how much have we not tracked from our point from the base mountain base to here. I yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. eh. There are a couple of things listed in that list. Um yeah. the other the other major feature is uh you've broken a few of the displays, but you can Oops. still flick through the feeds. There are the aforementioned holocam feeds. Eee. So for the holocams you guys spotted already, you can flick through that. That will take you a little bit of time, so I don't know if you want to go do that yet. Oh, uh well. There is a holotank in the center of the room, which I mentioned before. Uh, it's got a topographical map of the island, and it's got basically various display systems, you know, security alerts, daily ops, thoughts of the day are displayed on it occasionally. <laughs> thoughts of the day. Don't have them. The other major thing is, uh, as mentioned before, the top of this command post is covered in a wealth of sensor arrays. Interesting. Sensors, huh? Uh, yeah, uh... In addition to some uh, standard issue weather and like large vehicle spectrum uh, sensors, right, you know, the, um, big space radars. Mm -hmm. um, it also has uh, motion detectors and EM sensors. This imposed a long, uh, uh, up to long range, a black on your stealth checks oh. earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also notice that now that you're in here, um, it has uh, comm interception equipment as well. Uh, it's It's got detectors for radio signals and it would attempt to intercept any of them. Uh, luckily, you guys were smart and attempted to do everything by hand signal or voice-to-voice -voice already. Yeah! But had you not, you would have had to roll computers uh, or oppose computers to uh, get your transmissions through without being intercepted. Calm silence! Uh, yeah. You never know who's listening. 
Um, do we have actually, the, can we actually figure out, like, what range these sensors have? Hold on, yeah, didn't... so the, the large-scale sensors are probably, you know, a planetary scale. Like, Ooh. they're, they are, it's, it's a, you know, like a Doppler-style, like, high-level, uh, rate weather and maybe even air traffic radar mm -hmm. that covers the whole island. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's probably not perfect, obviously, because it's a pretty small, you know, set of sensors. So it's limited by like rotation rate and stuff like that, um, <laughs> natural conditions, etc. Mm -hmm. But it's Sorry. it's you know used for tracking various things. The uh, the motion sensors in EM are are canonically long range ca capped, so you know only maybe a few hundred meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Hey, my bad. I'm just curious. Didn't uh. Like during last session, we radioed in to bring in more clones. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's not happening. In we did that at the mountain base, but that's not happening, and they're not arriving till morning. Oh, okay. Yes. But no, you I did bet. not. You you radioed them with their radio equipment way up at the mountain base, which is you know, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I think it would have taken you guys. Yeah, you hiked down there, I think, or did a free climb. So it's probably at least you know thirty minutes of hoofing it, yeah. if not more, like an hour back up. <clears throat> you guys probably have six or seven hours left before dawn. All right. Okay. Now, speaking of those hollow cams, um, I know we passed some warehouses, and they're talking about the subterranean dock. Do we have hollow cam feeds to <laughs> those? Yeah, there are a wide variety of them. You want to start flicking through stuff? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So yes, there are hollow cam feeds for um, every warehouse interior Neat. and exteriors as well. You you've seen these. Um, mm -hmm. There uh, is a holocam feed on the uh, cable car platform, but you guys, you know, hiked around it, so not a problem. Uh, you also know that there is a cam feed that is listed in the list. As, you know, you tab to it, and it does the old little greeny thing it says up in the corner. And those, those you know, classic big blocky white text that you can only get on a VCR. Yeah, I know that. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, in that font, it says Boathouse. Boathouse. So there is Robot a... house a uh a couple of uh camouflaged boat houses or docks that appear to be at the actual like shore of the lagoon you can't really see too much in detail in the tall cams but you know they're there and okay you also have a uh a connection to a couple of other things uh one of which is the aforementioned moon pool. Moon. You can actually see inside. So you flick on the holocam and you see that uh, it's a moon pool. Neat. Uh, it looks big enough that you could dock something maybe still five? Five? Yeah. It's a you big could, ass you could, moon you pool. Could, you could park a, a, a crude submarine in here. I mean, we do have a crude submarine, but we don't have anything to do with it. Shit. It has uh, loading ramps and ladders that can go down uh, and lots of other stuff. But you also see that there is a uh, a like quick-release rack positioned directly over the actual pool part of the moon pool. Oh, uh, so it and it looks like it dump, you know, uh, well, let's say a platoon of like 30 aqua droids right into the, right into the lagoon if there was a problem. Scary. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being dumb. I'm thinking, all right, so I'm going to remove that, and I'm just going to put fucking aqua clones on there, and they'll just have to wait there all day, and just in case I want to just drop them into the fucking ocean. Just sit there. <laughs> just wait there, like riding a ski lift that's not. <laughs> yeah. uh... I do want to throw out there, for considering that aqua droids are amphibious, I don't know why, even if they're curved, I don't know why they have such huge surfaces. That's yeah, not no, how that, water resistance works, yeah, guys. Yeah, I was to say that's that's not that's not very uh that's not very contoured. You want? I wonder if it's going to be like underwater turbines or something. In no. Jets. Well, that's no, like, they I'm, just kind of swim. I'm assuming oh. that's what those like protrusions on the bottom of their feet are, or be something. But the thing is, is because it's so they're so wide in front, they're gonna basically really slow themselves down. Yeah, <laughs> like yes, because they're curved, that will like. You know, bow shock and stuff. The the water will roll over that, but that still means the water pushes against your giant dome head. Yeah, no, you basically want 
the best aerodynamic is you want a point that slowly spreads out to diffuse. I don't like how their shoulders are built. Like yeah. the, they're narrow. They're they're come to a tapered point, but are still rounded. Mm -hmm. But uh, anyway, they're aqua droids. They're big and scary. They swim. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure <laughs> they look like manta rays. Maybe that's the thing they were going for. Probably fiends. But um, so are their aqua droids still in their fucking deployment rack? Oh yeah, no, no, they're oh, okay. chilling there. Oh, okay, they're chilling. But they're deactivated, I'm assuming. Yeah, they seem to be in some kind of, like, standby. Like, okay. if somebody pushes a big red button somewhere or throws a switch, they, you know, get vomited out into the underwater. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, we will leave them alone, then. No point in wasting ammo right now, I guess. Uh, you will also see if you, like... Because you can, you can probably do the thing where you, like... You know when you sit at the console and then you click on the, the screen and the screen becomes your full screen and then you can actually move the camera around, <laughs> yeah. you know. You did yeah. the whole mini game. Um if you actually like move your camera around, you could probably see inside the actual moon pool. Uh there looks like there are like much like the hangar in the mountainside, there are like side areas built into the side of the room that have uh large scale machine shop components, various tools for the loading and unloading of submarines. Um Various docking systems to like fish their aqua droids out of the drink. Um, also, some other stuff you see a big old air compressor. Yeah, that would be needed you know, to for compress air. Yeah, that would be needed. Uh, it's, and it's got racks with bottles and tanks of compressed air. Yeah, nice. Get your scoop. Wait. Also, looks like there's uh, some, some like little side cubicles which are probably like individual droid repair bays. It also look like maybe they double as like basically a decon shower. Because remember, uh, Sohalive does have salty or brackish oceans. I mean, actually, I'm well, I'm curious. I know we muzzled in, but what are who are the fucking air tanks for? The uh, people. Yeah, what people? You have punched a few uh, organics. What? Yeah, we punched a few, but I don't know if there was we've necessarily punched enough to constitute. Well, who knows? Maybe there's been we've a not redundant. really come across uh, anyone who's. Uh... Well, no, no, he, no, no, like, Omega is right, like, especially up in the mountain base, because I forgot the name of them already. The fucking guys who are really good at foraging, plus the Nemoidians. Oh, people yeah, from Mustafa. Yeah, Mustafa. yeah there's Mustafa. some Mustafarians. And then they also yeah, had the, the Sun Guard up there, but, yeah. I don't know, I'm like, I've just, mm. Maybe the Sun Guard sometimes go out. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe they're for, like, maybe mercenary contracts or something. That makes sense. I'll go with that. They're for the organics that they happen to hire. Uh okay. So we got a moon pool. Doesn't look like is there anyone actually like still awake or moving around down there? Nah, it's the middle it's like middle of the night shift now. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, then You guys are, are I believe at this point you are several hours after after sunset, mm -hmm. so Yeah. And we have somehow not raised the alarm, thank God. Um... Yeah. Uh I mean hy hypothetically You've raised some small personal scale alarms, but uh, you've usually shot those men, so. <laughs> no, Nobody has had time to smash the big red alarm button. All right, but. Um, uh, but yeah, I'll basically uh, go through the holocam and see if I can spot any more active enemy forces. I'll spend some time. I need a break. All right, you, you fish through the cameras. You don't really see any active enemy like patrols or forces it looks like mm. uh if they do have foot patrols and and you do know like i said from the com board there are checkpoints those aren't cameraed mm. presumably because there are droids standing there mm -hmm. uh it seems like your your friends in the separatist while they have you know thrown together this nice shiny base very rapidly they're not really keen on redundancy if we have droids standing there why do we need a camera <laughs> droids are cameras right Sure. <laughs> uh, but by flicking through the warehouse cameras, you do actually get to identify uh, what's in them. Oh yes, stuff. Because you guys only you did only poke one. Yes. So the warehouses in the lagoon base there are six in total. Mm -hmm. Two of them are military warehouses uh, filled with arms and armor and stuff. One of which you've already opened and explored. So Sweet. basically, there's a there's a second warehouse like that. Yep. Uh, two of the warehouses are. Basic logistical supplies, stuff. like obviously militarized, but just general stuff as well. Um, you see that they contain lots of basic supplies. There are drums and casks of fuel. There are racks of various sizes of power pack, you know, droid oil, 
uh, workbenches, toolkits, racks and racks of spare parts, repair patches. You see uh, some spare racks of rations, drums of uh, fresh water. Uh, this may be of interest to you now also. You do even see a couple of med kits and a few back to casks. Oh, interesting. Uh, no tanks, but definitely, you know, casks for them, for the Bacta. Mm -hmm. And the last two warehouses uh, are interesting. They appear to be mostly storage, uh, but also some of them have uh, equipment, uh, like heavy construction equipment. Like, you see bags of sand, bags of unmixed permacrete, um... Probably a mixture of some of the mining or constructing tools you might see in the mines earlier as well. Mm. Uh, but also you see uh, storage crates that are filled with, like, you know, like, loose, like, wireframe crates that are just filled with, like, loose scrap rock. You know, the waste rock you get from mining. Mm -hmm. uh, also, uh, you know, crates that are filled with uh, stuff that's labeled, like, you know, uh, scrap iron, base metals, shit like that. Hmm. Uh, lots of bags of rock salt, stuff hey. like that. Rock salt. Uh, also, since you have now looked at all of them, I will tell you there is a mechanic. Uh, if you want to scavenge for supplies in the warehouse, you can roll a hard perception check, and you can uh, get any uh, tool, medical, or survival gear of rarity five or less if you succeed. Me. I mean, we might want to get some medical supplies, actually. <laughs> If you, you know, in, in in specifically when I say that, I mean in those categories in the gear list. So, tool, medical, survival. No, I mean if you guys want to, like I said, if you guys want to go scavenging for some supplies, we got some time. And like I said, I'll. I need. I need. So a while Arama is flicking through the cameras, uh, what are the rest of you guys doing? You have not uh, yet done any like examining of the elevator. Let's Probably would we'll do that elevator. later. All right, the elevator is very simple. Um, it's a cargo cargo lift so it's pretty spacish you could probably fit your entire squad including extra clones and stuff in it um it has uh two buttons up and down so it's a two level elevator forward and back um i'd like to actually wait, i'll wait for you guys to finish the elevator okay i mean that's that's it that's all there is really there's a button okay. down there it's uh yeah. it appears not to be labeled because presumably whatever this elevator goes to was so obvious to the people staying here that, you know, it didn't matter. Hmm. Is it alright if uh, Boots can scrummage around to see if there's any actual stim packs amongst the medical gear? Yeah, you would have to go outside to the warehouses to scavenge, but you can absolutely do that. Thank you. I'll probably just go accompany You guys have like, basically, I'll... since you have eliminated their, like... You've eliminated the command center with the scanners, and you have eliminated the commander and the, uh, like, tactical response unit. You guys can probably wander around this area of the center of the lagoon base without needing to make checks for anything. Right. Nobody will notice you unless you guys start doing weird shit, like, you know, <laughs> setting drums of fuel on fire for fun or something. Nah, we'll just, shit. We'll just go to that warehouse. Yeah, look around. Hmm. Also, this would be unmodified rarity because, you know, you're not buying things. You don't have to worry about that part. Mm -hmm. huh. Is the rarity on a stim pack? Is it like zero normally? It's something like that. I think that. it's zero normally. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, no, it's rarity one. Okay, but it still counts. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, anything else from anybody? No, I mentioned what Boots is going to do. I'm probably going to accompany him because we might as well just see what we can find. Sure. Buddy I'll... system. Also because I think I have like the most perception in the group. Let's see. Uh... Actually. Boots is going to look for a large animal medical kit. <laughs> is... <laughs> oh, is that what you're going to use on me? I see how you are, Boots. <laughs> You can find as hey, many don't, mayday don't patches as possible. <laughs> Remember, Loth, you can just find can... five mayday patches. You can put all of them at once, and then you have five success. I mean, he's... Actually, can we find a... at least a map of the lagoon base? Just see if where the elevator goes. Uh, there's a topographical map. There is no okay. lagoon base map. Um, okay. So, uh, uh, however, I mean, you. Uh, if you guys goes. are like trying to figure it out, I can help you logic puzzle this. 
you know there's a moon pool in the basis yeah. of the lagoon. You are yeah. not at the basis of the lagoon, but okay. you are inland there, yeah. only maybe a couple hundred meters from there. Presumably, there's some kind of underground structure that yeah. goes up to the moon pool under there's you. Probably, okay. The elevator probably goes to the moon pool, yes. So it just yeah. goes to the moon pool on Dawn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's what, that's what Now, I'm... you don't know what that chamber is, but yeah. you can be reasonably certain that, okay, this is one way you can reach the moon pool from the command post without having to take a fucking swim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see here. What else? Then oh, we're gonna scavenge Clearly, boots should stuff. hunt for an anti-shock blanket. <laughs> here, you go, um, I'll take take this blanket. Right, let me just open it. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Do I have to make any checks for scrounging, or? Yes, if you want to scrounge something, it is a hard perception check. As discussed. What are you specifically looking for? Stimpacks. Stimpacks. All right, roll them. Uh, Camo went with you, so you can use skilled assistance, probably? I have five panic, so, yeah. Yeah, what's your perceptions, everybody? Two. I'm at two. Okay, so it's the same. You can just use his five cunning. Cunning. Yep. Let's see. Guys, this Ooh, is what I want to also for search for a plasma there. protein replicator. Oh, yeah, that one adds one success to heal crits. Hmm. So you did this here. Okay. Okay, no. All right, so you've got five success. So um, I'll actually say you can find a total of five stim packs. Stim packs are pretty small and light. You you find five in your rummage through a warehouse. Um, camo and boots take one strain from the threat. Uh, as uh, Camo stubs, uh, no, uh, Boots probably stubs his toe on something, and then something falls off a shelf onto your head. Camo, it's very comical. <laughs> Bonk. Ah, it's it's that beginning. Of the, it's the beginning of the episode. <laughs> we 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 need a we need a tension breaker. We need to like lighten the mood after how somber everything was. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, and because you rolled a triumph, uh, pick any other device uh, you want on this list as well. I'm looking. Let's see. Loth, and uh, obviously, if Loth has no ideas, Camo, you can yeah. also. Uh, yeah, I was going to say. It. I'm just looking at anything. I'm currently like eating want. some more food because I was hungry. That's alright. Oh, there is a res device. Okay. Oh yeah, no. There's the Purple there's a, there's a device. It's very expensive and rare though. You cannot find that one because that's rarity seven. Oh, that's sadly. Right. You can also feel free to expand to tools or uh, what was the other category? Survival. Yeah, survival. Because you're you'd be rifling through the same you know basic supply warehouses for all that shit. Mm-hmm. Did I just find like a box full of med aid patches? No, it would. Okay. would you, I know it's a triumph, but it would not be. <laughs> Sorry, my little B one bandage. Okay. Well, it have like some. Oh, let's see. Uh. uh... Okay, anyway, while y'all are thinking, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Go okay. back. Yeah. Go for it. Great. Just trying to think about what else what we can do other than poke and stuff. Uh, gravity build. I oh, can't get gravity build. That's ready six. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. We could find a jetpack. <laughs> yeah. So why are you so carbonated? Stop that.
We can find us a Nopic teacher, but that's something else. <laughs> Hi, how we doing? I'm doing all right. Okay. Anybody decide anything while I was gone? Yeah. I... Have anything you have in mind? Well, I just finished my food. I've got nothing oh. in mind actually, so I, I that's why I gave it to you. You can oh, spend okay. the triumph on whatever you want. All right. There's a dumb thing that technically, uh, the synoptic teacher is only rarity four. <laughs> What would you need a synoptic teacher for? It's like, yeah, but yeah. Yeah, totally. yeah it's a funny thing. I don't know if that would be very... <laughs> like, oh, wait, this really... Oh, this is... We could put right, if you fail, that is just like, what, uh... How you could find an electro snare? <laughs> a snare. Snare! You could find a roll of cami netting. That would, there would definitely be a lot of that around here. I'm really looking at survival now. Uh, I was you looking can for find electric, instant mist generators. You can find <laughs> the Luma flares. Luma flares are cool. Hold on, instant, instant mist, mist generator? Yeah. yeah. Instant mist field it's a, kitchen. It's a space fog machine. Diamantal cocoon. Can I just get one installed Five. on my armor just so it looks like I'm gen <sighs> gently emitting mist at all times? Probably. That'd be awesome. <laughs> that sounds like it should be an armor mod. Just, you know, smoke screen. Just activate it. Just and instantly make a fucking smoke, smoke screen around you. Let's you escape. <laughs> I was about to say smoke bomb. Exactly. Aqua suit. I mean, if it wasn't E5, <laughs> this would be great for that. Yeah. Then again, you don't carry a lot. You could probably get a backpack just to carry your insta mist <laughs> generator. WRPR6U. And if it's and if you need to carry something else, you can just kind of toss it. <laughs> it is Alpha cheap. And Honestly. I Real talk, it's if an action loops. makes short range concealment, that's a pretty that's pretty decent. Honestly, you can probably just make that a fucking gr hey, actually, don't, don't we have smoke grenades? If it's probably have... in my homebrew somewhere. I'm about to say if Star Wars it's, doesn't have smoke Smoke is one of those weird things where smoke grenades definitely exist. I just don't think FFG ever bothered to try and stat them. Yeah. They it would just be like zero but... zero like short one zero fucking, you know, gives yeah. like um, you know, probably oh, I'll probably give it like a full three die of concealment. Yeah, I mean, just like the instant mist generator. Yeah, you throw it at any target and makes the uh, thing up to short. You had you add three concealment. I think that's what I did with my thing. Yeah. Uh, this this basically has all the mechanics. Um, and hey, it even says that vapor cartridges uh, cost uh, uh, ten credits. So anyway, oh, and uh, for firefighting. Yeah. Cool. Actually, the plasma protein replication is not that bad. Actually, how big yeah. is this? Thing? <laughs> I think it's E3. Flips. It's E3, actually. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So it's like, like... A, it's like a small box or something. Yeah, I don't think it's... Well, I'm sure it has a description. Let me see. Handy. I'm sure it doesn't have a picture. I just can't think of anything else that's actually, like, that relevant, I guess. <laughs> I mind. What were the three I categories kind of... again? Survival, medicine, and what? Tools. 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 I'm, more of, I'm not sure what we want, so I'm just like, hmm. Hang on, let me let, let 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 the master of liking stuff. We'll take okay. a look here. Wee! Yeah, it's just uh, as far as I can tell, the plasma protein re replicator is just a little, probably a little box you carry that has a. It's <laughs> it's, it's, it's capable of creating synthetic bodily fluids as appropriate for the target species. So there's probably a little a little keyboard thing where you push button. And that it, you know, has tubes that spit out the fluid you need. And while it is a little chunky and also uh, very expensive for pieces of tech, once again, the the uh, Fantasy Flight Games. What are you trying to say? Uh, the economy of killing people is very, very simple, but the economy of healing people is very expensive. I think it's meant to be the weird thing of like it's player facing where. If you get shot, it's supposed to be a big deal, but you killing a bunch of mooks doesn't. Well, yeah, almost surely. It's 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 like why D and D healing, for instance, is the way it is versus you know D and D killing people. You know, cure, cure wounds is you know what like a a, a D a D few D8s if you touch them D10. It's like a, it's D8 plus your bonus, and then you can add more D8s. Yeah. yeah. 
and the, as as opposed to other first level spells which cause injury, which are at least as big, if not more, it's like, and are often like range. a D10 or something. Hell, isn't Firebolt not to shit on D and D too much? Isn't Firebolt a one D10 cantrip? Yes. Also, inflict wounds is like three D10 and it's level one. <laughs> yeah, inflict wounds is uh again once again the economy of murder. Cure wounds. Ah, oh, touch a guy, heal him like a D8. Inflict yes. wounds. Touch a guy, deal him like three D10s. Yes. Did Karina almost die getting? And then it's like wow. Yeah, I think Karina almost got died once uh, getting getting inflict wound punched. Also, the giant that was some of those ogres or a giant we fought like got instantly killed by one. I like, it's I very like spicy. That, anyway, uh, lucky. Do you come up with any ideas? Honestly, I'm. I love the idea of the field report repulsor hoist. Set of six repulsor coils to move vehicles. Suspends a vehicle up to sill four, two meters off the ground. Can push or pull it using an athletics check with difficulty equal to silhouette. Oh wait, no, it's uh, I take that back. It's fucking um, rarity, rarity six. six. I but the that. repulsor clamp is rarity less. Uh, that might be useful. Actually, what is that? Is that E10 item or less? It's an E3. Yes, holds one item of E10 or less up yeah. aloft, removes, yeah. also removes one black from checks to recover whole trauma or remove. I mean, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, let's just, um, let's only... get one. Let's it's... find the big box, and then we'll just start throwing all this loot in the I crate. mean, sure. I, well, yeah, why not? Sure. Let's find a crate. All right, uh, Camo, as you look down at your feet, the thing that hit you in the head was a repulsor clamp. Works. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but no, it's actually Which like for the, for the people at home. By the way, is it's a it's like a a you know a, a decently large scale like C clamp or something. Mm -hmm. So it hurt a bit. Um, and then it's it's got a repulsor engine on it, so yeah. it's literally just a hover clamp. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, we don't need it's to take a, any uh, of uh the the materials here. But fuck it, let's load up uh let's load up loot. Find yeah, like it's a warehouse. I'm pretty sure you can find an empty E10 box. Yeah, probably, probably like fine. Extra, but yeah. yeah. All right, cool. And we now have place to store shit. Yes. Huzzah. Store Start. shit, especially since I think we have stuff in the I believe base one of this. <laughs> oh yeah. So a me for instance, a medium uh, medium specimen container would carry up to between five to ten e. So yes, you can absolutely find a uh, a crate like that could hold like a person's worth of things. Oh my god, we now have a floating a, disc. A Star Wars sized crate. <laughs> yeah. Ten yeah, floating yeah, disc in Star Wars, you, bitches. You, you find a crate, you stick the repulsor onto it. Uh, guess what? Um, rules wise, you don't need to account for the 3E of the repulsor clamp while it's currently running on something. Yep. Because now you have a crate, you have an empty crate trailing you. I'm. Spoilers for people at home. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna fight them about is the is the floating crate following them unless, it, <laughs> unless they like go for a swim or something. We, we give it a fucking leash. I mean, you yeah. you guys have like twelve clones with you. I'm gonna assume somebody is assigned to make sure the box follows you. Yeah. Now, if you guys have to like go down a tiny ladder or go through a you know climb up a mountain again or go for a swim we can ask questions but for now we assume somebody has the goddamn box okay. <laughs> i think we i think we you guys have back. spent probably 10ish like, minutes of yeah, arma yeah. flicking through camera feeds where we sat in a spinny chair and spun around a lot <laughs> and, um... so we go back and it's like hey uh general mm. i think we got something you might like so just kind of like a box that floats. We all like we all step aside and show the box. Oh, we got the, it's the, a box it. that floats. Did someone did someone put a smiley face on it? I was just about to say that there has to be a smiley face uh, painted on it. And this is the word loot on it. We found you hitchbot. Or 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 uh, or it's it's got a heart like the companion cube. <laughs> yeah. uh, well, no, no, it's the word loot with a heart around it. Loot. <gasps> is it Mother's Day already? I'm still upset you shot me in the back boots. I know. I can. I can feel it from here. Just vibing. That's okay. He just holds <laughs> up his fistful of stim packs. I'm prepared. For you, stim pack. For you, stim pack. For you. Anyway, so yeah, load up um, guns and stuff. I guess. And right. the, the the, these guys are carrying generic uh, rifles and pistols. If you care. No, no, no. Um, they're generic. Fuck them. There are some uh, BX Commando Droid, you know, cool energy shield things, if you oh, want yeah. them. Energy shields? Cover. Yeah. <laughs> Little deflector shield things. Are those the ones you have to hold? Yes. Yeah. Damn it. Uh -oh. Yeah. I have, yeah. <laughs> Can't Screw it, I'll dual wield them. 
No. Then I'll just drop him when I get into melee. I mean, I could use one. I mean, pistol. you joke about that, but there was a there. There is a thing in the old EU. I don't think it's come back called vibro shields, which are deflector shields made of spaceship armor that have vibration generators in them. And uh, the way you use them is you do dual, dual wield them. <laughs> no, no, no. But let's uh, let's uh, let's throw a few of them in in the the crate. Uh, and later we'll come. I, I don't know. If we find something else nifty, but... Okay, so, best of my ability, I found out that this cargo lift goes down to the moon pool, which seems to be mostly empty, except for some chillin' aqua droids who are waiting who are waiting to get dropped into the water. Uh, they will be waiting a very long time. So, for the most part, unless we want to go around punching the checkpoints, I think we're pretty much done here. Well, you haven't actually looked at anything they've got in the boathouse. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the boathouse. I check that, and then I guess the underground base? Yeah, the boathouse. Yeah. Boat and house. like I said, you don't know how big the underground space is, and you notice on the, on your comm board that there is a separate listing between moon pool and submarine hangar. You don't know necessarily what the difference there is. Okay, well. Okay, so okay. where is the boathouse? Uh, it's down a, just uh, down the trail. It's on the surface level. You guys actually saw the, there's a little, like, dirt or gravel path down from, like, the command center and main base area. Okay. It's just down that road. Okay. All right. So, this is what we're going to do. We are going to go check out the boathouse first, come back, go down, investigate the underground space just to make sure there ain't any weird surprises down there, and then we'll try to find access to the underground base. Everyone got it? Yep. yep. All righty. Oh, Mark has yeah. red. No, well, I heard him. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully, it works out. All right. So everyone, uh, okay, so gather up, uh, gather up your, uh, gather up your squads. Make sure everyone. Actually, I think everyone is still in the calm silence. Yeah. We should probably yeah. get the squad off me because I think. Did. Did I just cut out or did? No, yeah, Axe just cut out. out. Oh, Axe. I think it reset. For a second. Probably just stabilize it. Yeah. Uh, Thanks. Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, I mean, yeah, we could take those guys off you, but that means that there's like three extra, there's like three or four extra guys that aren't doing anything. So I mean, if we want, we can just leave them here to, you know, quote unquote, I guess hold this keep track out. of the place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You can do that. Yeah. I believe it is no check required to to disband a team. You just are like, all right, get off me. All right, guys. Get off. Me. Uh, Don't touch me. Keep track of the cameras. Yeah, yeah, we'll put them on camera. You, you tap down uh, at hold here, and they're like, Roger, holding. <laughs> Stands right there. All right, so, okay, um, everyone, let's uh, line up outside. We'll get into a stealthy formation, and we will stealthily, surely, a I little slowly. I think you guys are still in uh, comp silent? Yeah, I believe so. We never really changed it yet. Yeah, I don't. I, I think that was a point in the combat where several people were lamenting the fact that they never switched to close combat. No. Yeah. I'll make. I'll make my check. So what's the difficulty? Like, average? No. Okay. No need. No, there's no, no need. You don't need to roll anything. I told you this. You guys can walk around outside the base and not have to worry about anything. Yeah. No. All right. I'm just telling us to be stealthy because yeah. you know we're being paranoid. Be well, I mean, you guys, like like I said, this is assumed within reason. Like, if yeah. you guys decide to have a parade march in the fucking base, <laughs> then... Nah, we're just going to walk quietly. Like we've Dang it. Previously. Yeah, no, so no, we're just going to be stealthy. We just don't have to, you know, worry about actually tripping the arm or anything. All right. You guys trundle down to the boathouse. Uh, you guys pass through, again, some stands of jungle. You walk uh, across or around a dirt path. Uh, and basically, you see a uh, a series of natural rock formations that kind of shelter these in, uh, one of which forms a natural stone, K, or possibly quay. quay. I can't remember how you're supposed to pronounce Is it that. Key? Q uh, in some languages, it's key. Sorry, Q U A Y. Yes. It's, it's pronounced weird. a lot of different ways depending on which version you are. Yeah, which version you are. Yes. Yeah. Lucky spelled it though. Yes. One of those, it's natural and stone. Um, I've heard it both ways. Yeah. So this this kind of forms like a natural dock formation. There are actually uh, some, like I said, actual boathouses, like 
you know, camouflaged roof, side paneling, built right under the dock. You pull the boat in. Have a good day. <laughs> there are also some small outbuildings around. Um, and just double check a minute. It's, it's been like two or three weeks since I wrote this. Yeah, there's a couple of small storage sheds, it looks like. Uh, and also, you guys can see the back of it. The sides of the boathouses are flanked by some more bunkers. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Uh, uh, be right back. Someone's giving me a phone call. Someone's giving him the clamps! So, how do you wish to proceed? You can see the boathouse. I see mm -hmm. the boathouse. Oh, well, yeah, let's go, I guess, investigate it. Uh... All right. Yeah. Well, now, because there are bunkers with dudes, if you wish to get close to the house, I will require y'all to make the stealthy of checks. Yes. Which is to say, an average stealth check. Mm -hmm. I'm committing a poor sanity to make myself better. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, yeah, no, no point at yeah, I, we try to fight every single fucking bunker. Someone's gonna notice. So yeah, let's just be let's just be sneaky. Yeah. I mean, oh, I would like to throw out there that uh, it is ah. these are these are armored bunkers, so presumably they have you know big scary loud guns in them. Yeah. So yeah, no, let's uh, let's, let's not, okay. Let's not. Sorry uh, about that. It's again? uh, getting birthday calls. Birthday. Happy birthday. It do be how it be. Let's see. There's one for that. Two for that. I'm no longer a quarter of a century years old. And what's our concealment rating right now? Uh, let's see. I I forgot. Oh. So probably probably two. Two. It's dark. I think it was. Yeah. It's not pitch dark. Okay, that's just. Okay, so so, so yeah. many. We're boosters. rolling stealth. Yes, average yes. stealth. Your I believe everybody, as, as we've talked about, is still in Calm, so. uh, sneak bin mode. Yeah, so, I already did that. Congratulations, you have all successfully snuck. Snuck. I heal that one strand I got. Sneak. Ah. Snuck. Uh, so you guys uh, shimmy on up closer to the boathouses and don't... You don't make any loud and sudden movements, don't make any bright lights or whatever. The crews in the bunkers don't seem to notice you. Where do you want to go close to? There are two of these actual big boathouse units, and then there are a number of little outbuildings. Oh, uh, let's 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 go around or make our way in. Let's go check out these outbuildings. I'm curious. All right, you stop poking through the storage sheds. These are not secured. They are mostly literal shacks. You know, mm -hmm. wood planks, plastic, sheet metal, whatever. Uh, looks like they hold basic supplies, which are kind of rotated in and out of the warehouses, mm -hmm. like extra fuel, extra spare parts, motor oil, etc. You know, the kind of thing that you're like, a a as you do, you know, say you have to do a repair up at the boathouse. You don't walk all the way back to your warehouse every time. You get, you know, your supplies out of the shack right next to your boathouse. Yeah. And then when your shack runs out, you rotate out, etc. Most of these seem to be do that. However... Uh, one of them is unusual. It looks like some kind of fisherman's shack. Fisherman. Um, and it looks a little bit older than some of the other buildings. Maybe something the old smugglers had up here. Oh, neat. Um, and you guys poke through it, and um, yeah, it's a little uh, unusual. It's got a small ice maker and refrigeration unit in here. <laughs> nice. And uh, it does actually look like there are some, some uh, workspaces, counter tools... There's a rack of various knives and stuff for uh, cooking and cleaning fish. There's even a, a hot plate in here and a smoker. Cool. There's a smoker here. It Sorry. also uh, it it yeah. it smells, you know, uh, of of uh, salt and fish guts and blood. So it's probably been in recent use. Recent use. Huh. Yeah. Like yeah, like the... maybe not, you know, since nightfall, but definitely sometime within the past couple of days, somebody has caught a fish, cleaned it, possibly cooked it in here. I think some of the people stationed here uh -huh. like make eat their own fish. 
mean, it's possible since there are organics. I don't know. I do find it weird though that the separate. Well, actually, I, I don't know. I don't know separatist life. I don't know how how uh, fucking tight while they are on people, you know, wandering off, catching fish, cooking it. No, we must I mean, make our own mechanical fish. It's the first fish. time you guys have ever stumbled into a fisherman's shack on an enemy military base. <laughs> like, huh? Definitely not okay. what I expected, but okay, so there is definitely maybe an organic here who likes to fish. And it's either Scruffy the janitor or the guy who owns this place. Or oh, runs the place, I should say. Who does Oh, actually, wouldn't that have been the super tech droid? Probable. It could have very well been the super tech droid. But yeah, so was it fucking literally Hephaestus just being like. Hoover. Fucking meatbag. They do not know the joys of fishing because they are inferior. Yeah. I, oh god, that sounds. Well, I don't know. You didn't. You didn't get that impression from when you <laughs> when you met him and punched him. <laughs> or it could be over down that underground place. Yeah. Goes to like slap both boots and camos. Like I once caught a fish this bonk big. I mean, he did throw two heavy frag grenades at you. So, okay, interesting. Unfortunately, I don't yeah. know. I, I honestly don't know what to do with this information. It's yeah, it's, it's, it's perplexing. It's information well, for later. Yes. It's information that might not be important. So clearly, we're going to run into, if I, see a, like a, if I see like a boss character with a giant fisher's hat, I will know that my alternative means of defeating him is to challenge him to a fishing battle. <laughs> Wait, that would be pretty fun. <laughs> Okay, you've got your fishy rod, I've got my fists. What? <laughs> Don't worry. I, my hands, mean... I can spearfish with my hands. <laughs> Hand fishing is a thing. Yeah. Yeah, no, um, yeah, no. So Arma's now gonna go on a training montage where she stands in the, the river, you know, hand up in the like the karate pose and she's just start chopping fish out of the water, landing them on the shore. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> Reminder of that scene from Milan. And what were we doing? <laughs> Anyway, we're, we're gonna go check the rest of the buildings, and then go check yes. the big boat all houses. Right. Yeah, that's basically you've you've checked all the shacks and okay, stuff. Okay, then we will. Yeah. Go. To the... Check the boat house. Boat house. Yes. To the boat house. <laughs> to the boat house. <laughs> Trying to flip a coin to tell which boat house. That one. Two. All right, so you guys open up a boat house. Yay! Like I said, they're kind of. They're kind of weird to look at because they're, you know, covered in cami painting and kind of, you know, probably got some natural, like, gilly material around the edges. So they look like they're just weird rocks or bushes or something, stands of trees. Uh, but you do find a door and you can kind of quietly open them up. You open up the first one and you see that it is a, oh, it's a, it's a boathouse. There's a dock. There are boats inside. Well, not technically boats, but uh, actually platoon attack craft. Oh, uh, these are basically unarmored MTTs. So those big, you know, those big rolly armored boys. Yeah. Imagine if we took out all the armor and just left the repulsors on the bottom and the rack for droids. That's what a platoon attack craft is. It so sounds this very, is like... very fragile. Here, let me let me show you the picture. <laughs> let, oh, me, nice. let me this let me let me show you the convenient picture that also uh, explains why they are here because uh, I believe they were in the backdrop of. Well, they're in the backdrop of several shots, but they were in the backdrop of, uh, I think, some ah, of the... Ah, goddammit! Oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Like, uh, technically, okay. technically, their design is the rack is on the back, and they've got a little, like, driver post on the front. But yeah, it's basically the repulsor-style shit on an MTT and the big droid rack thing. Okay. Uh, they are not filled with droids currently. Good job, everybody. Yay! Uh... But because they are repulsors, they are technically semi-amphibious. They can cross over water. And uh, hypothetically, with two of them... I Also, once again, nobody in Star Wars understands military units. They say platoon attack craft. Uh, <laughs> because they are modeled on MTTs, they hold, like, 100 droids. That's more than... That's not how platoons work. No. That's, that should be a company attack craft. Maybe, maybe yeah. 100 <laughs> droids is enough to attack a single enemy company. I don't know. Or any platoon? Or any platoon? I don't, know. I don't know how it works. Whatever. Anyway, they're there. And these are decently fast, kind of badly maneuverable, but just big, 
blocky vehicles to carry blobs of droids. So basically, their point is to load them up with droids, drive them as fast as they can at the enemy, and deploy them. Yeah, and overwhelm them. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, good for logistical maneuvers and fast attack. Not good for entrenched assaults or anything. All right. Well, also, <laughs> you do see that there is, you know, various bits and bobs for equipment fixing it inside. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Keep an out of that, I guess. Yes. Hmm. Uh, let's go see check the other book. Yep, go check the other one, please. Yep. This one is also interesting. You find what appears to be a captured fishing vessel. Uh, looks like the local make. Uh, it's armed with repulsor sails, you know, wooden hull. Uh, looks like it's in decent repair. It's not like an antique or anything. Seems functional. Huh. It's got all the bits it needs. Generators, repulsor sails, anchors, fishing rod. Hmm. Sorry, I was a, I got another phone call, so I had to take that quickly. It's got a it? fishing vessel with everything on it. Did... Some, did someone come out here just to fucking hang out and fish? And get captured? There used to be like... You I did hear like... rumors that some some boats had gone missing near the island. That is true. Did, would this place even have a brig for those people? No. Well, uh, it's a, it's a top secret base, and you guys haven't seen a brig. Let's uh. Yeah. Let's 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 investigate around. Let's see if we can find out what happened maybe to uh, this boat's captain. Yeah. Well, uh, you ser thoroughly searched the boat. I will not make you roll anything for this. Uh, you do not find any interesting things on the boat. Mm -hmm. It appears to have been just a local fishing, maybe a smuggling boat. Like, maybe it's got some extra, like, concealed cargo compartments in the bases or something. Um, but just, it's a, it was a, you know, kind of a low, low-hulled low fishing vessel that uh, appears to have been captured. Um, any damage it may have suffered from, like, being caught doing anything appears to have been patched over already. Um you do think it is unusual considering it is a, you know, freestanding local style boat. There is no captain's log, navigator's book, anything like that on board, uh, which is not standard. You also, know. if it was captured, why did they fix it? Well, that at least I can say, it does appear that the 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 boat is functional and in good repair. Oh, okay. Um, you even see there is equipment in the boathouse to keep it and upkeep it now once again much like why do they need a fishing hut uh why a separatist military base has decided to capture and then refurbish a fishing boat hmm? where are they hmm. i don't know find those answers where are they trying it, to do something? oh i see it, it's it's the synth problem <laughs> maybe they were just trying to form some sort of uh Disarmable attack thing using the fishing well, boat. Then they'd probably be doing something else. Something. Uh, I will say the quality of local fishing vessel is probably not good enough to function as a Q ship. It's you know, they're okay. They're made with probably um sh shallow like lightweight metal alloy hulls and you know probably mostly wood planking. The only other thing that comes immediately to mind is was this captain flipped? Maybe. Like he possible though I would side? like to say once again, there is there's not even like an, a coded logbook. Like ev everything normally you would find on a fishing vessel other than the fishing gear is gone. Um there's not like a hammocks or anything for you to sleep overnight on it. It's a little weird. You'd oh. you'd call it a ghost ship if it weren't for the fact that it appears to be in perfect working order. Huh. <laughs> okay, let's put that let's just put that in that uh in that then under the log of um Weird, weird, weird facts that we know. Yeah, another um, weird fact that's in the ether. Yeah. So you want to go underground? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Let's, return, the, the let's return back. Base under the base. That's let's not, not think that, too much on it. That base under the base. The other base under the base. Yeah, that base. Uh, under and the base. you're not gonna just jump into the lagoon and swim to the moon pool. No. Yeah. Okay. All right. No. We've done enough swimming today. It's okay. All right. Listen, you I go don't back. want salt water in my wounds. I mean, aren't you amphibious right now? Well, true, waterproof. yeah. Well, I don't You're know right. how waterproof I am. I Dude, did take several boats, 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 blaster bolts to the back. 
True. You took a lot of. You took a lot of. It's a lot of damage. <laughs> um, That's a lot of damage. So, uh, you go back to the command post. I assume you guys are going to climb in the elevator and push the down button. Yes. Yes. Loading screen. <laughs> oh, also, by the way, technically I should have said that was L2 Boathouse. Ah. <laughs> uh, you are L2 now boathouse? in. Yeah, L2. You are now in L5 Ground Warehouse. <gasps> that place cargo get. door rolls up and you are in an area that looks remarkably like the first zone in Metal Gear Solid except we out, without the the moon pool it had in there <laughs> um, it's a looks like it was an expanded like natural sea cave that was uh, you know like reinforced and spread out a little to make a large blocky room that is filled with rows and rows of storage shelves um, as you come in uh, low overhead lights do kind of bzz, bzz, bzz on, uh, but even then, it's really low lighting. Uh, it's still got one dot of concealment in here, one black. Oh, the shadows. Uh, and uh, as you guys, you know, kind of look around, uh, you see rows and rows of even more supplies. This is a lot uh, of supplies. Yes. Like Some of them are basic. You find more janitorial supplies, probably like reserved for the droids upstairs kind of stuff. Um, you also see, though, parts of prefab buildings, you know, uh, sheet metal paneling, collapsible walls, storage bins, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, this is, if my guess is uh, correct, well. Portable generators, bags of permacrete, et cetera. Yeah, they're definitely uh, doing some sort of force build up here, I think. Some shelves you notice are bare or unmarked or appear to be temporarily used, so they've got spare space to rotate out supplies. You do also find um, hover carts like you saw upstairs, spare parts for those, uh, worker droids in storage, spare components of aqua droids, stuff like that. Everything else is, uh, you know, okay. pretty normal. It's dark, yeah. damp, it's very minimalistic. Are you guys going to spend a lot of time searching here? No, like, really. Like, every single uh, shelf? No. Okay. no. I guess it's just game as we walk past, I guess. Through. Nothing just big. A... Yeah. Just some Let's side keep eye. Just side eye, keep moving. I would like everyone to make the stealth checks. Stealth checks. What's the difficulty? Still have rush. Okay. Yeah, PP, 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 PP. Oh yeah, one PP. Only four Bs. The... And then one from Damn that, it. and one from that. Okay, straight six sus. Do this again. G -P. Who needs skill? Who needs who needs yellow dice? I mean, when you have five green. <laughs> I mean, until someone, wow. until somehow there's red dice involved, <laughs> or more purple dice. Right. You guys stroll through the. Uh... Sorry, yawn. We yeah, started I mean... slightly later. Uh, you guys stroll through the warehouse stealthily. You don't really stop to like examine literally every every box. Uh, though some of you did roll some significant advantage, I will say you probably notice as you pass by, um, there are some crates as you get closer towards the exit, uh, which does appear to be a pretty secure, watertight door. Um, you get towards that exit, you do start to notice there are some shelves that are labeled like outgoing, um, that do appear to have some small storage crates that look like the supply crates you guys saw when you first got into the sea caves. Probably loaded with um, uh, some metals and stuff that are maybe going... Okay. Uh, but you were able to uh, pass through into a uh, T junction. T. Uh, and uh, at some point, you guys, you're not sure where as you pass through the warehouse, but at some point in this T junction, you feel like you've, uh, you've, you're technically underwater. 
there's no windows or anything, but you feel like you've left the the gentle embrace of the earth and are now under the sea. Under the sea. In front of you is a section labeled Moonpool. 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 And um, the other way in the T junction is Smrunhanger. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go look around the uh, Moonpool. We can go make funny faces at the Aqua Droids, I guess. Okay. You guys walk back to the moon pool. Moon pool is L4. So, uh, you guys poke your head in. You see the the racks of aqua droids. They're literally not looking at you, so they're not a big problem. Um, this is a... To get in there, there is a reinforced airlock door. So, you know, in case of emergency, it seals. Uh, and mostly, you guys see what Arma saw on the holocam. So, to reiterate, you know... Racks of aqua droids, uh, a quite deep pool going into the the lagoon floor. It looks like you could, you could at least, while not entirely fit in here, you could pull up something still five and dock it with this moon pool. Uh, lots of air compressor equipment, bottles and tanks of compressed air. You know, if you guys needed to top off your scuba gear, um, and uh, various other things. There's some, uh, looks like there's some extendable water probes that water you can probe. use to examine sea, seabed data and water conditions. Okay, I'm back. What did I miss? From... Nah, we just put I... the, the moon was pool. from the T junction. Yes, you decided to go to the moon pool. Okay. You were looking at the moon pool. I'm just reiterating what's in here. Uh, the only new bit of information is that you notice towards your end, there are some uh, racks of what appear to be some kind of ordnance device. Ordinance. And some interesting uh, modules mounted in the roof of the moon pool. Would you guys care to examine? Yes. Yes, please. Uh, okay, basically, uh, several of you have knowledge warfare, right? I, I think all of us do, actually. Oh, not me. Oh, okay, sorry. So, but you guys can figure out uh, these appear to be a variety of um, uh, sorry I'm frustrated I'm auto completing but um, these appear to be a variety of what looks like uh, mini torpedo munition so the mini torpedo launcher is a man portable aqua ordnance launcher find it in your local weapon list today uh, and uh, like lots of other ordnance systems, it can use a variety of munitions. It looks like you're looking at some some fun stuff like, uh, you know, there's some anti-personnel torpedoes and some armor-piercing torpedoes. And there are other fun ones like ink torpedoes and stun torpedoes, but they don't got any of those, so it's mostly those. Uh, and if you had to guess, that means that there's some kind of launcher system attached to the moon pool as a form of underwater defense. Yeah, I'm really glad we came went through the fucking sea caves. Yeah. Underwater. Yeah. Otherwise, we would. Well, this to... this would have been fun if you decided to, you know, amphibious assault the island and like drive up and submerged ATTEs or something. It would have been funny, but now we're here. Do you guys have any other further business in the moon pool? I do not think we have any further business in the moon pool. All right. You do the, you know, you didn't see anything thing with your hands. And treat back at the T junk. All right. Let's go to the submarine hangar. L6 submarine. Uh, by the way, I, I believe I can say fairly that you have now uh, seen or been to all areas of L. Yay. Lagoon base, boat hey. house, command post, moon pool, warehouse, hangar, cable car station. And you know that the perimeter. Uh, checkpoints and fences exist. Okay. So, uh, the submarine hangar is a uh, fairly large uh, hangar-sized building. Uh, you go through a T-junction, but it then curves around, so it looks like this structure is actually built like next to the moon pool, but they're not directly connected, probably okay. for redundancy. You know, because you are, you know, several meters underwater. Water's annoying like that. So, uh, this is a kind of uh, dimly lit, dark, armored-looking room. Armored? 
yeah, very secured, very, very good at that. Um, it's fairly tall as well. Uh, and you notice there are four uh, big chambers kind of spaced out in here. And then at the back, there is um, some other additional rooms. So there are, and by like four, like uh, big partition, like, I mean, they're spaced out regularly and they have big heavy doors on. Oh, they have portholes. You could look in. <laughs> Might as well, I guess. Yeah, sure. All right, sure. so these rooms are, there are four large docks which hold Trident-class assault ships. You are familiar with these? You've seen them before? Yes. These are giant space squid ships. Yep. They are amphibious. Um, and it looks like at the top of them, there are, like, top-loading airlock doors. So basically, these things can... Uh, you know, the the loading area can be, the hangar can be flooded, their individual chambers be flooded, and these things can launch directly into the lagoon. And possibly into space through the lagoon. You know. Because they're also spaceships. They're space squid ships. Space! They're pretty sick. Uh, there's a model of these coming out for X-Wing, and it's pretty rad. Of the huh. Anyway, yeah, so there's four of them. Uh, they're pretty big. I think they're, like, still four. And with the tentacles, they're, like, super long. Uh, and then basically kind of around the docks, you know, uh, assault ships, there's a set of like maintenance and docking scaffolding so that you can get to various places to fix things on the exterior. So you can, uh, move troops to actually climb in their little hatch door in the mouth of the space squid bit, et cetera, et cetera. Also looks like, uh, kind of built into everything there are. Some storage modules and tanks for fuel to kind of be pulled out from other parts of the base and fill them up. So you got four of these. Uh, you want to check out the rest of the place, I assume? Yeah. Okay, so uh, in one area, there is a rack of a lot of aqua droids in full storage. Uh, there's about a reserve company of them, so about 120 of them. Got a lot of maintenance equipment there. It looks like they are position so that they can be marched into the trident hangar directly to, you know, do that, or they can, you know, probably be launched through the airlocks to actually assault the lagoon. Fun stuff. But they're chilling. They're just chilling. Right? They're not a problem. Uh, the section at the far end of this room, on the outermost area, is labeled Warhead Store. Kind of curious what kind of warheads they have packing. Okay, are you going to go into warhead storage? I'm going to go into warhead storage. Yeah. Okay. There's a set of airlock doors. You're going to go through the doors? Yes. <laughs> All right. You guys end up in a large rack room. Um, It's a ordnance bay uh you s it see it holds large scale uh assault missiles which are used by capital ships and strategic bombardments jeez hypothetically these things could be launched from the lagoon to hit anything as far as the nearby coastline of the mainland but you guys with your big warfare brains can probably calculate that you guys don't actually have any strategic targets on the coastline worth shooting at currently so it's probably why they're not doing that. Still a little annoying. Um, and you see these these uh, these giant missiles, you know, like assault concussion missiles, uh, built in several stages. Some of them are complete. Some of them appear to be ready to load it into big launcher tubes. Um, some of them are in components. You can find the actual, like, solid rocket motors that drive them. Because, you know, that's how you la launch ordnance. Uh, there's, you know partially assembled or built guidance packages, chips, etc., that are ready to go. And then there are these big shelves of the payloads. Oh, no. Uh, you see racks of not only um, beridium charges, <gasps> but also, hey, remember how they were making dioxys gas here? Oh, yeah, some of these are chemical weapons. Oh, no. War so, crimes. Um, by the way, this uh, this is the point where Arama should be like, nobody pull a sharp object. Yeah, no. Nobody touch a gun. It's like it's like Warhead Storage and Metal Gear Solid. Don't do it. Don't. Whatever you're thinking, don't do yeah, it. Yeah, no. Everyone holster your weapons. No weapons in hand. I don't even want to even see you want to be picking um, your teeth with a knife. Do even like the guards like not draw their guns in this room? That kind of room. Well, yeah, no. Because if you want to shut this, 
Yeah, I don't remember what they do if you trigger an alert in the room. I think they do shoot you, but they've got like special bullets or something. Like they are like they're like using like rubber bullets or something. For it. I don't I don't remember the right. thing. It's been a while since I played Metacritic. Special Spell. Magneto uh, plastic bullets, whatever it was. They they are also wearing like rad radiation gear. So anyway, yeah, no, uh, the room is uh, bad, scary. It is filled with uh, tactical weapons. Okay. Okay, this ain't good. Nope. 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 You see all these warheads? There are warheads now. Okay. You see this warhead? Picks it up. My warhead. <laughs> then I'm gonna throw it in the <laughs> fucking trash. I'm not actually you gonna made this? throw it. Slam dunk. <laughs> oh, she passes it for the alley oop. Arama. Congratulations, Arama. You found the non-standard game over. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was in Yeah, by the way, also, dumbass. actually... What? So, um, I will also say this, uh, especially because Camo is here and he knows his demo. You don't actually want to blow these up in situ, just, just to be clear, because you'll set off a chain reaction that is probably oh, yeah. going to collapse the entire coast of the lagoon, which but is these bad. Are stuff you, this is more stuff you'd want to just have another team. That Take said, if you want to steal them, um, beridium charges are a thing. They're heavy, I think, but they're you know, if you, if you if you need a very special party favor camo. <laughs> uh, this is probably more for uh, if we ever like commandeer the base, we could probably use this for ourselves and probably dismantle the other like the chemical bombs. But yeah, at least you, we should but probably. Right. Just are you leave are it. you are you satisfied with the existential terror of weapons of mass destruction enough? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. You can leave. <laughs> <laughs> like, as soon as you, you said, you feel the specter of Hideo Kojima over your shoulder. Nukes like, nuclear weapons bad. are bad, y'all. <laughs> Nukes are bad. <laughs> and they're surprisingly not that hard to make. <laughs> this is this is actually the the secret mission where you recruit Hideo Kojima. You just you hand him the Fulton, even though you're inside. Space Kojima. What would be what you, what Star Wars name? Space Kojima. I don't know. He'd be a cool Let's not think about it. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I assume you guys want to skedaddle out of the sub dock. Yeah, nope, yeah. nope. I would like to get away from these explosives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so you guys have cleared all of the lagoon base, like I said. Unless you guys really want to go see what the perimeter fence looks like. No. You're fine. Nah. Um, nah. So here we are. We've, you know, only spent about an hour and a half. Uh... I'm not going to make you roll stealth checks again to pass by whatever you're making stealth checks for. It's fine. You guys are rolling really good tonight in various ways. So we'll assume you guys go back up the cargo elevator because you really don't want to go for a swim. Nope. Uh, and you guys can rejoin the squad at the command post. So what do you want to do? You guys probably, like I said, still have... Uh, Eight hours? Eight, seven, six. 14 is the half. We assume the night cycle is probably a decent chunk. So Ooh, excuse me. you guys arrived at like duskish. I think we were like, yeah, like just and the, the days edge should of the arc, be, yeah. Well, and also the days should be slightly shorter because we've talked about, I, I believe we've talked about it's been moving into like the local autumnal season. So it's like 12, 16. Yeah. So you've, you have spent um, a decent number of hours. So yeah, you probably do still have like eight or nine hours left before daybreak. Oh god. Oh You've fuck been it. Slow like, rolling though. We're slow rolling, fuck it. Let's let's actually take a goddamn break. Yeah. How long is a break in this case work? Ah, uh, fuck, like a couple hours? I okay, I well yeah, I think I think the question is, you know, break level. Like okay. there's you know, D and D equivalent to a short rest somewhere in the thirty minute to an hour, like, okay, everybody drop your heavy shit, sit down for a second, drink mm -hmm. some fucking water, eat your snacks, etc. Yeah. And then there's like the I think two to four hour like okay everybody relax take a power nap if you need it kind of thing what are you going for here oh uh, short rest like half hour to an hour all right snacks you 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 know you order everybody to sit the fuck down take off their kit sit in the chairs relax eat a snack mm -hmm. drink all right uh if ever, I don't think anybody has any strain at this point but if you did you should clear it uh technically I. Camo and I, sh yeah, Camo and Boots should because shit dropped on us while we were. Uh, yeah, I, mean, I, I think, that I think he used his advantage for that, but yeah, you can, you guys can refresh it. You're fine. I got like no strain. It's just for the seven wounds right now. 
Oh yeah, well, you definitely could roll to heal me because I didn't do the last encounter. Oh yeah, you could do that. It's been an encounter. It's been an encounter. Okay, time to healing touch everyone. How is Camo in terms of wounds currently? I only have 7 out of 24, so... Uh, yes, but he's not the most important one I need to heal. You already did Arma, Piggly. Has yeah, it? that was for that encounter. You can't heal her again. You've yeah. not had another significant encounter. Uh, okay, before. never mind. But, okay, so... It's an easy check, right? Because you're not that injured. Yeah, I believe he's below yeah. half, so... It's like 5 wounds? Yeah, 5 wounds. And heal 7 strain if you had any. No. Nah, he's good. I'm, I'm now at two wounds. I'm actually okay. Boots stuffs a candy bar into Camo's face, and he feels better. Take a break. Take a Kit Kat. You're not you when you're hungry. I've been hungry. Eat for a, a Snickers. While. I believe I know Marth just said BRB, but I believe Webu has like six wounds, and I don't think she's been healed with a medicine check yet. So, <sighs> if you're gonna take a break, you might as well. Might as well. take care of that seven. Let know when he gets back i think webu only had maybe That's some amazing. minor cuts and stuff cuts and stuff while we're out of med aid patches you can still give her the bandages yeah uh basically since we took a break a, a physical in-game break not an out-of-game break though if we need to take an out-of-game break uh, let me know uh, fine. um but uh since you did have some wounds uh boots did tend to webu and you have healed seven Wounds. Okay, so now I have zero. Yeah. Everybody but Arma is mostly fine, and only because Arma mostly only got hurt in that one last fight that one time. <laughs> it's like how when it's like how when Camo got bullied really hard by one encounter, it took like three encounters to fix him. <laughs> <laughs> it did. It really did. <laughs> so yeah, unless you guys have any particular role playing you want to do during this downtime period, I I imagine it's mostly just, you know, Quiet seating, a little bit of, uh, like I said, a little bit of snacking, relaxing. The clone troopers with you probably, you know, double check all their weapons and stuff, clean them, reset them, reload, mm -hmm. fiddle with stuff. Arma will uh, uh, get her bandages changed, I guess. Yep. Uh, she, yeah, will remark, will she will remark about how her bag has a new collection of uh, burn marks on it. Yay. Okay. Yeah. I yeah, boots cannot think of anything uh, to say at this point in time. <laughs> boots needs to learn that just... sometimes you just can't say anything. Yep. So he's yeah. just gonna sit. <laughs> I was gonna say sit the sit the fuck down and shut up. I'm like that doesn't really work. Sit down and shut the fuck up. There we go. Shut down and sit the fuck up. <laughs> no. Right. <Great> sit. <laughs> So I... Boots is gonna pull out his uh, his space harmonica and play <laughs> Nobody Knows. I've been a little out of it today, so I apologize. But so I assume the current plan after this is like probably just to go down to the underground base. Yeah, but we got to find out the proper access point. I actually don't know how to get there at the moment. I remember there's like a fucking a lift? yeah somewhere. I don't... So not... from it's here, in the as far as you can tell, and we can have this discussion partially in character. Yes. Yeah. Um, you guys have explored most of the lagoon base. You're looking at the topographical map. Um, there appears to be no actual access point to the underground section here, though obviously you guys have seen signs that there are out from that place. Um, you guys can also call upstairs to the command center where you've got another, you know, dozen-ish clones or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, so they can cross-reference to the map. It appears that the main route appears to be um, the funicular line, which is the, the base yeah, the of the mining one. tunnels that, yeah, Camo mentioned. Oh, okay, okay. X Camo, whichever one. Uh, that appears to be yeah. the primary entrance. If there are alternative entrances, you're not sure, but that's what's marked on the map as the major access point. Oh, funicular. 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 <laughs> I forgot. Didn't, didn't didn't we fight fucking Vulcan Raven on the funicular? Well, actually, no. They had an they had an inverted elevator. It wasn't actually funicular, but yeah, they had they had an open elevator. No, yeah. you fight Raven on it. That was, I think, just waves of dudes like rappelled down on you. The two Raven oh, fights were one in the tank in the snowfield and then in the fridge. Oh, that's right. Okay. No, I think he calls you on the incline. I think that's what it was. 
that is usually what Metal Gear Solid do. If you're you you have a long elevator ride or a boat ride or something, <laughs> let's have a codec call. Keep, keep the loading keep the loading busy with a cutscene. Yeah. Or oh, a really long ladder. Uh, well, no, then the then the fucking boss is just gonna like you know just sing at you. I take my. Actually, I would have loved to have a moment of Vulcan singing <laughs> Snake Eater. Droid Eater. <laughs> da, 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 da. So. Clearly, the clones all get together and sing, like, you know, big band cool. music. I was going to say Kumbaya. <laughs> I was to say, and tonight, for everyone's different tones, I would like to present the Clone Quartet. Aren't we all the same, though? Shut up, you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta. I think between the two command posts you've taken, you've got access to all the PA systems on this island. If you guys want to just play easy listening music, I mean, once we take you on the ground base, sure, why not? Yeah, it's like that's the all clear signal, mm -hmm. the coded signal. <clears throat> yeah, the Baba Clone Quartet. We haven't played Snake Eater as <laughs> this is a signal. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Must have divide, no, no. So go to. So we probably gotta go back to the mountain there. base. Um, yeah. yeah. Mountain base and... Now, remember, this presents a strategical conundrum normally yeah. because if you want to hike back up the mountain base, you gotta hike back through the clusterfuck of the bunkers and mortars, looking right at yeah. you with their beady little eyeballs. Oh Should yeah. We just take the elevator this time. What elevator? Or the, the, elevator. Car, the cable car. The cable car. Yes. Let we us take the... the loud and you know mobile um cable car that's not supposed to be running at night well maybe not like, loud but still why is that thing moving <laughs> oh, so i mean no one's you've, keeping track let's right say now. this you have taken both ends of the cable car like yeah. you own both ends of that yeah i know but still like we. the have only concern would be if the i guess if no. the bunkers like noticed you yeah if they paid attention okay and... so clearly this is what we're gonna do we're gonna repel up the fucking cable line Oh, well, we, I mean, you guys could just, you could tightrope walk up it, I guess, but yes. that seems way, way more annoying and more likely for somebody to fall off and die horribly and yeah. loudly than yeah, because I think the, the top end is probably extreme. Well, clearly, what I need to do is what we did last time. I just hack them; and they just spin. <laughs> I mean, not a bad idea. Yeah, I'm just double checking. There's cargo racks, handrails, you can people in them. Uh, you guys didn't really look intensely at the cable cars, but you guys would know from the back and forth that um, the uh, the cable cars are like mostly like automated. You know, either somebody at the station down here or back at the command center sends the signal to like send the car up. You don't really know how weird it would be. It does appear though, because you are like I said, there's like you know tactical alerts, plans for the day, stuff like that in here. It does appear that there's not necessarily a cable car schedule, so it does appear that the cable cars just run whenever they do. Um, you could also theoretically, like I said, there is a permacrete trench underneath the cable car like lines that uh, while not an easy climb and would have been a murder hole, yeah. Uh, had you tried to brave it up originally, you do know that nobody on is at the top trying to murder you. That would be fairly stealthy, though, very difficult. You're right. I Probably. vote cable car. Ah. If we can't decide altogether, we might as well vote on it. That's fair. No, I'm just thinking about like, stuff. If we find if we find climbing equipment, we can do the climb, but otherwise. Just... I mean, we do have <laughs> warehouses literally filled. You with... could dig for some climbing equipment. I think climbing yeah. gear is like e like one or two. One, yeah, not, e you know, one. Rarity one. Rarity yeah, two. Rarity like, rarity honestly, like you. Let me see. I think I talked about the climb, right? Yeah. Where's the mountainside? M one. There we go. Yeah, it was a it was a hard check. You do take some black dice because it's a, a noisy area with lots of loose terrain. You could scale yeah. back up. Did we even have climb gear when we climbed it? We didn't climb it. We uh, came down it. Stealthily. Oh right. Okay. Yeah. But like you guys uh, did, you guys. I believe you did roll the athletics check, but yeah. it was, it was <laughs> different than scaling the mountain cliffs. It was like, like, like you said, you guys were like, "Hey, can I drop down here feasibly?" Okay, cool. We drop down. 
Yay, we don't die. Keep I mean, going. I'm, I'm fine with just climbing up. Like, I flex yeah. in, you know, you know, four brawn and, you know, the force. Oh, right. The row is 33. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I don't want to get a row. Rows are cheating. Yeah, rows yeah. are cheating. I uh, left my row behind because we were... Well, I was, was going to say, you guys all already own repulsor assist units. It would be very silly for you to go s sneak another one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have them on us. <laughs> we just wow, sneak it, then I can't we believe just your drop. mom lets you have two rows. <laughs> then we just sneak it, then we just drop it off. Like, yeah, no. oh. But no, I'm like, if you guys want to get some climbing gear, um, I, f I say like instead of the cable car or the trench and stuff, we just climb the mountain. We make it yeah. a bitch. Yes. Sure. Got him. That... W while more physically taxing, though not as taxing as, like I said, the trench thing, that's a literal permacrete, like, drain, water drain. Um, in my notes, also also considered a literal shooting gallery. Um, you do know from your experience scaling the mountain that you guys can do it fairly out of the sight lines of, like, the mortar teams and bunkers. Okay. All right. All righty. Okay. Would it be so, any difficulty uh, just to find climbing gear? Yes, yeah, it's, it's still per hard perception. You got to search. Mm -hmm. All right then. You oh. got a lot of warehouse to search. Hmm. I'll just let X search. <laughs> huh? I, I think guess. I find something else. <laughs> you find a row. Actually, like... <laughs> <laughs> damn it! <laughs> Actually, okay. It Maybe is six advantage. I think I'll try and search then. There are technically two warehouses full of supplies, so somebody else can search the other one. Can I give Webu uh, assistance? Yeah. Sure, so boo. Add your eyes. Boo. <laughs> All right, I am commit that fourth eye. What, what do you auto eye see? Oh, wow. Jack shit. Wow. Okay, so uh, since you're just looking for climbing gear, four success. Find All right, you can find four sets of climbing gear. Perf. Yeah. I find anything, Omega. Hey, Camo, you find six Luma flares. <laughs> cool. I thought you were about to say you find a popsicle. <laughs> I don't know why. That, I don't know why that was my thought, but I don't, no, I thought Omega was going to say, "Hey, Camo, you found a warehouse." <laughs> no, he rolled six advantages. Not a, he does, in fact, find something in the warehouse. He doesn't find the thing he was looking for, though. I put these in the loot box. Go ahead. Sure. Away. Reminds, me, reminds me of my DM where it's like, okay, you've rolled a natural one of perception. You've noticed that you're alive. Uh, well, our favorite thing from Mages of War, <laughs> which I took from, I took from uh, several old um, the scenery. Old games, was, uh, was if you really, really fuck up your perception check, your awareness check, it's uh, you've noticed that you are in Africa. Yes. <laughs> I think the thing that, that killed me the most about this is that fucking Wolfgang did this constantly. And every time he would, and, and yeah, and just be like, and just got to the point of him just looking over his, is like, man, I need to bring my watercolors. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like, yeah, yeah. It, it turned into a running gag of like, oh, Africa's really pretty, man. I should have brought my fucking paint set. <laughs> As you know, you're flying through the night or something. <laughs> I mean, it's like on the bright you're, side. You're hiding in a cave as you made your own gem storm of yeah. gems. <laughs> Yes. Oh right! Did you make a well, right? You made a whole like horde of diamonds. Holy shit! Yeah, I made yeah. Great diamonds. Later on, well, not the just warlord in Africa is going to have a bunch of diamonds. It was either it was either someone made it or Gem the hologram turned really off off killed. <laughs> but, but okay. Uh, yeah, I don't we need no climbing, climbing equipment. All right, we yeah, put we that in the box, and I guess here. we'll have some clones <laughs> deal with that. Arma, um, she doesn't she doesn't put her hands together. She just kind of flexes her hands, and you just hear that. <laughs> Does the climbing gear, I think, reduce the difficulty for climbing by no. one? No. Okay. It is just the right tool for the job. Yep. Fair enough. Just no penalties. <laughs> yep. Let's see. So, mountainside path. <laughs> Everybody, make me a hard athletics check. Add two black dice uh, for the fact that you're moving through an open and slightly noisy area with, like, loose rock and shit. Just an Ed. Just a. Uh, was the count as environment like traversal? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess technically it is like loose rock and stuff. It is. I do outdoorsman too. So. This yeah, does seem like something where outdoorsman would apply. Just All right. Oh, Arm one set. Arm minus one set back from athletics and coordination. This counts as okay. athletics check. No, iron body is for resilience and coordination. And what okay. is my 
Yeah, if you were, um, there's a separate check if you guys just wanted to haul ass up the mountain and sprint. Oh yeah, I also have conditions, so yeah, I also want to apply to. No, everyone else will climb, I will fucking ninja run up the cable line. You, uh, fighting dream. How, <laughs> what's your, what's your coordination? Uh, four, I believe. You could do it. I don't know if you want to do it because it would probably be harder than just climbing like a normal fucking person. But it also just it is hurt. easily within your potential. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You you boots don't you have like condition or something to get rid of black dice? Oh wait, I have condition to give me uh, extra boots. <laughs> condition was an arc. But you do have <laughs> you do have your tra you do have the training and also the support system. Yeah, okay. that's the, yeah, that's I made sure to add the physiological support system because that's the only one I have because right. we spent <laughs> okay. a good yeah. deal last week arguing about if I had that or the bio support dispenser. Anyway, okay. okay. All right. But no blues, so just all these four dice. I can't open these dice. Oh. Uh... Wow. You're okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or sky yeah. you. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, no. Okay, no, that's one failure. I thought that was four failures. I was about to be I was about no, to freak one. out a little bit. Um, so yeah. I'll dump all my light side into success, so three success three, advantage. Four. Yeah. So, for normal people, free climbing <laughs> a uh, treacherous, sharp, pointy, volcanic mountain oh, in the what? dark oh, uh, would be dumb. Oh, <laughs> Lucky you forgot a... Oh, I forgot, I, forgot, I forgot a purple. Hang on. You're right. Okay, sure. you gotta roll, roll, roll one more purple. purple. Hang on there. I'm sure it You're won't fine. Yep. 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 It's fine. So, uh, as I was saying, for a normal person uh, attempting to uh, free climb a sharp, pointy volcanic mountain in the middle of the night in the pitch black, surrounded by uh, enemy bunkers and stuff, would be dumb. <laughs> but you have the power of the Force, so it works out. I've also race Transoceans up mountain. Well, yeah, you guys also have some practice at this shit. Yeah. That was with a repulsor assist unit, though. Yes, I do not but... believe Arma was free climbing then. No, yeah, she was not as swole as she is now. Also, what I what I have done, it's still dumb. It's just remember whether history calls it dumb or not is whether or not you succeed. Yeah, the force guides us, binds us, penetrates us, protects us, flows through all things, they call including it silly this mountain and my hands. Yes. Haha. <laughs> what am I to a mountain? So yeah, you guys shimmy your way back up. This does take you extra time. Yeah. Though you technically pre-practice this route, so we'll say it only takes you maybe like half an hour this time to shimmy your way that. back up. Eh, actually, honestly, probably it should be more like an hour. You guys have to climb up several hundred meters. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this takes a minute, I believe. Oh yeah, 55 fl floors of stairs of Shinra Tower. All right, that. That only take like 20 minutes. There should be time no, nobody's. Get... Well, no, nobody feels that bad as the Shinra steps because you guys were a weren't rolling resilience in a. The nobody rolled me threat, so. Yeah. No, you guys are fine. It's a nice, brisk mountain climb. You guys come back up to the Overlook. Yay. There's probably a, there's probably a clone trooper standing at the crenellation who kind of peeks over the head at you and is like, Oi, what's the password? <laughs> Arma whistles back. We begin with physical conditioning. Get ready yep, for that. PT. <laughs> yeah, ready that's for the general, all right. <laughs> 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 you guys need a rope, Gatorade, anything like that? Drop down and give me twenty. That's all. Like, I'll, I'll, take that. I'll take that. I'll take that sports drink. Put a bottle of sports drink. <laughs> Clonerade. <laughs> Ugh. Power clone. <laughs> <laughs> Still feels gross to me. Because I, I, Jared. You'll run so fast. Just like a Zabrak. Faster than Zabraks. <laughs> Get the portal back to Camino. <laughs> uh, anyway, Powerade slash Bronto the Thirst Media Later commercials. They're all memes. Go look them up. Okay, but yeah, so you guys get up. It does take you a little while to climb, but m most of you manage to actually be pretty quiet and, you know, reliant and stuff. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, excuse me. Clones all shimmy up. So you guys are gonna go downtown to the funicular yes. brown, whatever. Um, 
I assume this time you guys are just going to take the turbo lifts down to that level? Yes. Okay. So we have an elevator scene. <laughs> yep. Uh, Boots talks about headbutting things. Or uh, Webu tells you a funny story of her underground matriarchal girl, otter people. Or whatever you do on elevators. Uh, what elevators? It's just like every elevator in Mass Effect 1. Just It's it's for a chance for your party to banter. Mm -hmm. No, Webu just tells stories about starfighting about stuff. Alright, the doors slide open. You are now in M7 <gasps> Vanicule. <gasps> Oh, okay. Great. Here are the so there's a funicular out. railway railway station at the cool. bases of the mining tunnels. Uh, now you guys can see down below you this tunnel, which is at a lovely incline. Uh, by the way, there is in fact one car at the top. That's how it works. Yep. Um, uh, you guys can look down and down and down and some more down. Boy, howdy! This tunnel goes on for a ways. Right. So, uh, what's the slope on this? Uh, it's uh, probably a, a, a mean, even, machined, poured concrete slope of, like, I don't know, 45 degrees? Okay, so it's halfway between 0 and 90. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's still a pretty know. steep incline, y'all. Yeah, that is... Uh, yeah, I, I doubt you guys want to ride the rails and slide down. Yeah. It's like, did anyone bring some sort of hoverboard? No? Okay, fuck it. We gotta ride. <laughs> Tony Hawk, we need you. <laughs> this is not there... the Final Fantasy VII where you ride down a snowboard. No, no. There not. is what looks like a little, like, fenced off, like, side section, but it's at the same incline. It looks like it's designed for, like, specialist droids to go down and do repairs offside the main rail. It's not really designed for organics. Um, are you guys gonna gonna do any looking around? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's a there's a there is a, a little station area. Um, and to remind everybody, because it's been another week since we brought this up, the way a specifically a funicular works is it's a kind of um, sloped rail or elevator line that involves counterweights so there are literally two cars one car is always at the bottom and one car is always at the top if you send one down the other one comes up that's how it works so uh there is one car at the top it is a flatbed car so uh because you don't need to be enclosed underground yep by the way there is a big yawning you know permacrete slab above you as well Oof. Oof. god knows how long it took them to uh, maintain this. You guys also see little tiny, you know, emergency lights studded every so many meters. Uh, the cars are pretty sizable. Um, you would say that there's enough square meters in here to hold possibly tons of cargo or dozens of individuals. Uh, there are short safety railings, so Ooh. enough that you can lean on them, but, you know, you can still trip over them and fall off and go, ah! Is this a separate space, right? Well, it also you. appears that the rails are part of a anchor point system, so you can ah. actually, like, you know, there, attach there cargo and stuff to it. <laughs> it's it's not just so you can lean on them; it's also so they can like strap stuff down. Okay. Um. So, uh, as you guys are kind of like poking around, you're not maneuvering to the Kate, the the black, the car right away. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite sure what word I was trying to say there. Um, you do notice. There is a in the little, little control room off to the side. There's another squad of everybody's favorite B1 droids, just hanging out, minding their own business. Ah, they look like uh, they're they've got red markings. They look like uh, security units. Man, we'd be doing a lot more fighting if we actually showed up in the day. Jesus. Yes. Yeah, hey, yes and no. You can still be sneaky in the day. It would just be harder. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Though, if you chose the same route, you would have had the mountain thing would have been a lot more annoying. But um, yeah, your your attempts to sneak up the sea caves would still be in like concealment and low light and shit. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, if you want to actually take the cars, there's some droids manning the controls. You may want to deal with. Yeah. Alrighty. So, I say we do the usual thing of we. We um, activate the battle model, 
and we just, you know, get as close as we can, and we, you know, snap him in half. Let's see, you got a full thing, you guys. These are just one squad of B1s. At this point, I don't even know if it's worth rolling full-blown initiative for. You guys can do enough damage if you can get yeah. in there. You've, you've proven this to me. So, and in the sake of, like, you know, getting to some of the actual good shit tonight. Yeah. Though, I don't know, it is a little later than usual, and we're already at two hours. I'm fine. I'm fine. Well, I'm, I'm fine. For That's a little true. bit longer, anyway. Yeah. I'm getting more. Yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting uh, no, actually, wait. Back. It's a. Uh, it's Memorial Day weekend, right? Well, oh, yeah. remember, do, I still got to go to work. Oh, you do still have to go to work. Okay. Yes. I was just like, wait, does Lucky have to go to work or not? Anyway, um, so we'll we'll if this is gonna turn into a like a huge complex thing, we'll find a good cutoff because we started later. But for now, we only have two hours. We can keep going. Um, so um, yeah, I guess everybody make me the stealth check, the average stealth check, to see if you can sneak up upon these men. And then we'll probably simplify it by having you guys roll your regular combat checks and see if enough of you succeed to deal okay. with all of them. Yeah, well, it's just starting to aim back. Average stuff? Yep. So you, all of you guys do bad. this. Was it concealment again? Uh, no concealment. Okay. Oh. Uh, actually, it doesn't matter. So that technically I got three successes. I remove all of my boost die. You are in a railway station. It is a, you're in basically a subway station right now. It's not dimly lit. At least until you start going down the yawning passage into the depths of the earth. The depths. The planet core. Uh, it looks like you've all succeeded. All of you go ahead and make me combat checks of your preferred variety. Probably punching or stabbing. No shooting. I would... Yeah, I would say avoid Shutan, though again, it is a big, long, dark tunnel. Yeah. But it is solid rock, so it will echo. Yeah. Echo. Go. Echo. Man, Lucky, wow. whenever you type yeah. out checks with all those force dice and the yellow dice, I'm always like, Yippogriff. <laughs> 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 like you're you're summoning a fantasy creature. <laughs> Yip Yippogriff. Anyway, you rolled like two triumphs and a shitload of success, so let's see. Uh, that was Axe's, yeah, that was Axe's stealth check, not his combat check. Alright, let me just... Roll to stab. Activate, Activate. stab. Okay. It's another trick, yeah. So, basically... Whether, you know, hangs back and whistles Dixie, you guys sneak up to the command room and then just jump through the door. And it's it's just, it's it's one of those, like, cartoonish cutaways where we just look at whether she kind of, like, you know, does her idle animation, you know, cleans her little otter claws, you know, <laughs> whistles a little, bounces on the balls of her feet, you know, takes out her lightsaber, kind of fiddles with it, puts it back, and just yeah. poof, 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 slice, stab, clank. Ah, my spleen! Roger! Clank, bonk. <laughs> you know, bits of droid fly out of the room. Yeah. It ends with like a little B1 head tumbling. Pink, pink, pink. Lands right by Webu's foot. And then we pivot the camera around to, to Arma boots and camo. And as Arma just goes. Yeah, it just slightly nudges the head of the B1 droid. <laughs> well, like, that like... ain't going anywhere. Huh. It's like. Alrighty. Because like, uh, with those success numbers and all those extra triumphs, that would definitely have murdered, like, five or six dudes. Yeah. Like, oh, they did. Yep. Okay. So, uh, yes. So you see the control. Um, there are... It, this is used to start the process to deploy the elevator. Um, you know, levers, whatever you need. Uh, there is probably, like, a, a signal in the in the actual car to be like, hey, I want to go down. You push the down button. The control room is like, okay, flip the switch because, you know, you got to undock everybody. Uh, it is the middle of the night. You would notice that there's nobody on schedule, but, I mean, much like the cable car, there's not necessarily much you can do about it. Unless I you guys don't really think wanna, they're like, going to have fucking, like, giant lasers at the bottom of this prepared to shoot up. Yeah. So... Probably true. Yeah, what? They might just just damage the vernacular, and then they're just like. Then they boned. Oh. Then they have to walk up this. Yeah, no. Uh, and by the way, that is actually in my notes. 
because uh, you guys, so you guys don't have to worry about getting trapped underground forever. The <laughs> only way to block off the railway is to is to like completely demolish the system and like wreck a car. Yeah. So um yeah so we might have a interesting welcome at the bottom, but I don't think they'll be able to bring anything necessarily heavy against yes. us. Well, so um. Also, judging by the line and maintenance notes, you're looking at uh, you've got a big seatbelt slope through. Oh, you don't know, maybe maybe a couple, keep a couple clicks. Jesus, first. Jesus. Oh yeah, no, this goes this goes deep. This is well below the lagoon and sea level. Like this is this is probably ends up below the sea floor, the local sea. Floor. Okay. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> deep underground base. Okay, I'm I'm a little more concerned. You have a 15 minute load the screen. Ah uh, no. Okay, so clearly Armand needs to sing the fucking theme song of whatever this campaign is while we do this. Still in a dream, Clone Eater. <laughs> Which is like what? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Throw him over the edge. Ah! <laughs> No, it'd be funny. I throw him over the edge, but since it's only like an incline, he just like rolls slightly faster than the fucking uh, the <laughs> elevator. So we just see him for like several minutes, just going. Ugh, uh, 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 uh. It's like that. I for, forgot what uh, movie it was, but you know, on the uh, quarters, Stuntman reacts. There was some gnarly hill stunt that some guys did that was like that. They just rolled on the hill over and over again. No, <laughs> it's it's that scene from Mac and Me with the kid in the wheelchair going off the off the cliff. Uh. All right, but no. So let's activate. Wait, do we have to activate it from the control room, or you can you start the process from the control room? But basically, basically, there's probably a couple different versions they can do this. You can basically be like in the control room. You can hit the lever and be like, okay, push the button when you're ready to start, kind of a thing. Ah. Uh -huh. So you guys can assemble yourselves. Um, you've got a decent amount of space on the on the flatbed car. You guys want to do anything in particular? There do appear to be some like cargo straps and tarps and stuff. Mm -hmm. hmm. I would want to. Mm. Uh, I'm, I'm just remembering the one time you guys smuggled yourself into another underwater base in crates. Yeah, I remember oh, that. Yeah, that. That was the... a guy opened the crate. Takat was in, and Takat was not having a good day. So that guy met his shock <laughs> fist. Yeah, yeah that, that's very Star Wars. And the was in, uh, well, so to to clarify, while you guys maybe think tactical thoughts or anything, if you want to do anything funny about this, or like if you just want to load the cart with bombs or something dumb, you know, mm -hmm. um, I just probably get position. But um, so the guys needed to go to an under underwater imperial base. So they knew that they did regular cargo shipments. So they snuck aboard a shuttle that they had arranged, and they all hid in the cargo going there, like in the actual crates. Bex, you know, BX, <laughs> and uh, Taket and everybody just chilling in the crates. Uh, and so when they arrived, they're like, okay, let's, let's check them out. And I do believe that the enemy made some perception checks to, like, locate you, and they're like, huh, this one crate seems weird. Uh, Taket was a Chadra fan, who are the little bat-like guys, and uh, it is it is known that um, because of the planet they come from, uh, Chadra fan actually don't like water. Nope. So uh, Taket was not really happy about being, you know, hundreds of meters underwater in a <laughs> submarine base. So when his crate got opened and he got caught, he was just not very happy. No. It's like, nope, I don't have time for this. I believe it was, ah! <gasps> punch <laughs> all right cool we've knocked out everybody in the dock throw them in a crate let's go we gotta save the whales uh but no um uh, we got tarps and straps uh, you could probably rustle up some crates i don't think we're gonna fit everyone up but we could probably like arrange some crates as some cover easily doable I say we Probably do that. Take like an extra five ten. Yeah. Okay. You can you can arrange some tactical waist high walls because, like just, I said, like just in case they have something waiting. At, like, I'm not expecting them to have fucking like you know big cannons, but they might have some dudes with guns. Ba basically, yeah. You guys go back, like reverse course back into the mining tunnels. You find a couple of crates of like loose rock and shit. Yeah. You yeah, yeah. take them onto the cart, load yeah. them on the front, you <laughs> strap them around, and you know 
maybe cover them with a tarp so the loose rocks don't go anywhere. Strap them in, and you guys have a couple of positions of cover you guys can hide behind. So you're going to push the button and go? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Actually, I have a... That's just the lights going by. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's irrelevant. Yeah, so uh, you guys, you know chill for a good, you know, 15-ish <laughs> minutes. Yep. Um, Actually! Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I may have finished. I was just going to say, the, the the total trip will take you about 15 minutes. About halfway through, you do pass the other car coming up. It is empty. It is not filled with murder droids who are going to jump on your <laughs> elevator and kill you. I was worried. I was actually fucking worried, okay? That's, uh, no, no. They're not that freaked out. <laughs> now if if once again if there had been like an alert or something maybe some some fun shit would have happened but for now you guys are still mostly stealth we're gonna see what happens when you get to the bottom of the elevator but yes a the other car, car passes you by it's un unladen okay but um technically we did go there and counter if it was just nice kid i maybe get another heal check uh yeah no you would you would have had to do a that was like baby combat yeah 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 I simplified it by basically skipping the initiative step. Yep. So, yeah, sure. Uh, Boots can use this time to attempt to give you another heal. Please. Uh, you are still over half, correct? Yes. All right. It is an average medicine check. Check. Check it, check it, check it. Check, 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 check it out. What, 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 what's all with that? And if the mountain blows up, we can call this episode Heaven's Divide. Okay. Uh, nice. That is nice. Uh, yeah, hey, and also you got a triumph. triumph. I know you can technically only roll to heal a critical injury like once every week, but you can get rid of our with the critical injury. You rolled. Yeah. I mean, like uh, you heal it. Yeah, that puts me at four of twenty. I'm feeling, I'm feeling fresh. And also scratches the, the at the brink. Yeah. Crit. Four out of twenty. But like I said, now that it has been healed, I will now spend that uh extra ten to get another rank of dodge. Arma, you've learned from your experience facing down six angry droids with guns in close quarters that you need to dodge more. Yeah, I need to provide. You need no, no, I have learned back. that <laughs> no matter how many enemies I have in front of me, there might always be an enemy at my back. Uh, yeah, me apparently. Yes. But yes. also, when faced with large amounts of enemies in the front, maybe don't get shot so much. Yeah. <laughs> dodge, bob and weave. Remember, yeah. remember the basics of your CQC. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, you guys are, you guys can tell as the cart starts to slow down. And honestly, like, you go, you know, maybe a couple of kilometers underground. Um, this thing does it in about fifteen minutes. It's probably decently fast, though obviously not that fast. You know, it's not like going like, uh, you know, a kilometer a minute or anything. I could do the math, but I'm not good at math brain. Math brain. Um, mood. It's still probably there's a little bit of air whipping by you. Um, you also definitely feel like the air starts to get a little more, not necessarily warmer, because you were already in a tropical island sea cave area. Um, just but stifled. like definitely more like stale and processed. Yeah. A bit more stuffy. Like it's yeah. been run through machineries constantly. Mm. Like there's there's literally no natural airflow other than warm air rises out of this tunnel. So yeah, maybe, maybe, and in fact, maybe the gentle breeze of the air going by you does seem a little warm, but in general, it's not hotter. It is not accompanied with the scent of the ocean and the land. It is yes, just... it does probably actually start smelling less like salt and seawater and jungle mud and starts to smell more like processed air and machinery. The BGM changes, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you guys are rolling up on the station. Are you guys doing anything in particular? Um, I'll uh, tell everyone to hide behind the crates. Uh, everyone post up. Get ready. Yeah. Crate. Crate. Yeah. Not, not in the crate. Ar Ar Just, you know. No, Arma no, no, built no. You some, Arma built you some chest high walls. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'm behind the chest high wall. <laughs> Alright. Just... Um, Head poking up. Barrel. Okay, so you guys are, well, not necessarily, like, full-blown hide. You guys are making an effort to, like, minimize your silhouettes? Yes. Yeah. Okay, you guys can go ahead and roll uh, the uh, stealth check, basically, to see if anybody immediately notices you. 
Okay, this will just be 4G this time. Average. Well, As you guys pull into a station at the bottom of the funicular that looks freakishly like the one at the top of the funicular, but mirrored. Actually, okay. wait a second. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is just weird to see that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, what you. concealment, right? Stealth. Average stealth. I think I may have rolled too many boosts, die. Uh, only like one extra at worst, because you've got a squad on you. I don't think. Yeah. If you guys Calls succeed a bit. Boost. Recon armor. Oh, yeah, you're wearing recon armor. No, you're not wearing The Jedi um, are wearing recon armor. Jedi recon armor, yeah. which has one boost. But still, yeah, if you are if you lose a boost, you wouldn't miss too much out of it. It's fine. Yeah. Yes. So you guys I roll I just up missed that on my... and are not immediately visible behind your various forms of cover so there's not you don't hear anybody shout oh my god we're being invaded um you do see from the control room on the bottom level a droid head pokes out and says hey cable car cycled it looks like it's got a bunch of crates kind of kind of looks peers peers out at you with its beady little robot eyes mm -hmm. it's not a lot though maybe a night shift one of them says I don't remember anything about Night Shift. And then the third B1 droid chimes in. They don't tell us nothing about nothing. <laughs> <laughs> the first one goes, well, are we supposed to unload it? And the second one's like, heck no. <laughs> makes a makes like a girl please gesture with the robot <laughs> <hand>. <laughs> All right, back to work. Yeah. This wasn't in my job description. I don't have to take care of this. This is one of my core programming. <laughs> Do you want to shoot at the boxes for target practice? Nah, that's against the rules. All right. Um, will we be able to approach these droids stealthily, or do we have to go over the top, as it were? No, you can sneak around to them like you did with the last control room, basically. Then stay out of their sight line and yeah, do a very we'll similar see. thing to that last thing we did. Yes. Yeah, we'll scan whatever things back. <laughs> I would like to attempt that again. So I'm guessing average stealth checks once again. Yeah. Everybody was stealthily fight. Oh. Wow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, camo. Rejoice. Boost you stuff. I think I got Great. you covered. Enough. And what about boost? You definitely got a triumph. If Boots gonna try. Boots, are you gonna sneak up as well to the punch him? <laughs> no. Boots now is hanging gonna, back. You're gonna be fine. Okay. So you got a little bit of reserve. So yeah, with your with your one triumph there and your lots of extra successes, you can cover for a second PC. That's pretty easy. Uh, and you guys have both snuck up to the spot. There's another squad of of E1 droids manning a manning a control room slash security checkpoint. You see beyond there is a uh, very professional-looking reinforced door. It goes right. into somewhere. Then I will make our short-form uh, combat check, seeing how much uh, inf I can do. Mm. That's one. Mm. Uh, I'll give a shot, too. Yeah. You guys might actually be rolling initiative at this rate. All right. No, I think, yeah, I think yeah. it's an initiative check. Uh, it's like 13. Let's see. Yeah, what would be your total damage there? Uh, That would be 13 pierce 2. Um, I would put... It's that... a droid, right? Because I could, like, crit as well easily with, like, one. Uh, let me think real quick here. Sans yeah, special... so that would basically leave probably... Arma can definitely punch one. I can get two. Four, three, Maybe eight, multiple. ten. Yeah, no, it's 10 pierce 5, but... Okay, so you guys actually can get through about four of them, but there are still two left. So I would like you guys to roll me cool as initiative, and I will roll right. like a grin for vigilance. The guys in the back can roll cool as well. I got one success. Awful for a green die. You train. Well, I guess I'm going... 
you oh, yeah. well, I, mean, I you spent your reaction. Give, on it. I, I forgot to do the boost for I forgot I forgot to do the boost for like multiple opponents, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. And it's kind of a rough and tumble combat check. We don't need to. I probably would have put it in success, and I would have put it in like your killers. But yeah, anyway. okay. Uh, boost. Boots. Booty boots. Yep. Yeah. Roll, that's roll me. initiative. Roll cool. Sorry, my bad. That's fine. It does kind of feel like everybody's sleepy though, so we probably yeah. shouldn't push this I'm on not, too much. I'm not actually. I, I was just kind of out of it because I was like checking some other things during the time. Anyway, okay. Um, so you guys do all have plenty of success to go first. I only rolled one one S, so. But you still have to roll dice to see if you can beat them up. You probably will, but let's see if you can beat them up before they can freak out and push a button. So who would like to go first? I'll go. Let's look at what's go. Go for it, Ice. All right. You did roll the five successes. Big numbers, no whammies. Put that boost this time. Do that. Probably make sure to clatter them, but it's good I'll to aim. roll dice and just figure out. Aim? Okay. So I'll just put the two boost because I think it's fine. And there are still two of them. Uh, those okay. Boost better. Yeah. So let's see. That's, you can definitely crit, but that's, your base damage is what another like thirteen? Uh, that's thirteen. Uh, thirteen pierce two. Okay. Yeah, you don't even need to crit. So yes, you are able to. You do stop to take a second to aim this time, but you're able to before they can like get their wits together. Is like I said, you guys kind of like rush through the door, the two of you, and just like punch, punch, stab, stab, and then you turn on the two droids, and they're just kind of like. Uh, swing. Just cut him in half. And the accuracy the melee has paid off a lot. <laughs> like, holy shit. Like, I said, like, I'd only be doing, like, nine. It's like, for less, it's, like, actually a big deal. Oh, no, only nine. Well, I mean, I wouldn't be able to, like, stealth kill, like, the things. Uh, right. But, never mind, sorry. Okay. So, you guys have taken the bottom of the funicular line. Sweet. Are your lift belong to us? Yay, thumbs up. All right. Thumbs you are now ready to move on. Right. Oh. So, all things considered, like, I know we're, like, people saying good, but it does seem like people are a bit of low energy, and I do think that we're going to go be doing something... Big. big. You guys are about to enter U1, Underground Base Center. I will say, like, I'm not really allergic. I was more just, like, I was dealing with other things. I don't know. So Every, everybody seems, like, a little a little distracted and out of step tonight, yeah, is so, what I'm saying. And yeah. I did just yawn again, so. No, yeah, no, it is no. later than usual. It's almost 11. I don't know. Yeah, so I think... Like, I think I, we can we can keep going, but, uh, like like I said, this would be a good point to stop if we're okay with stopping. I'm okay we with stopping. We have... Stop it. We have gotten more than two hours, and also I have been a bit distracted because I keep getting messages and phone calls like, Happy birthday! Yeah, you're blasted on your phone. It's yeah, fine. No. It's fine. No, I think, like, it's okay. I think it's, again, this will like... be, this will definitely be, like, I know it was shorter this time, but you guys did clear basically the whole lagoon base. Mm -hmm. Next time will definitely be, you guys will clear the underground base. Yeah. Could we end on at least, like, seeing what we walk into the underground base looks like? Oh, sure. We can cliffhanger there if you guys want to see yeah. the actual inside. Yeah. Sure. Because uh, it's got a fun description. So you guys open the big double doors into the underground base center, U1. Uh, and you kind of see in, like, some gentle night lighting. It's a nightclub! Um, Sorry. No. Uh, though it is something else that would be unusual deep underground. The the op center here almost uh, looks like a corporate office at this level. Like, oh. um, you see a lot of work cubicles with, like, low walls. Um, with work desks and, like, personal computer terminals. Um, there's rows of what look like private offices against one wall and conference rooms against another. And in the center, there is a large um, bullpen-style work area where there's just no cube walls. There's just rows of desks in front of uh, a bank of monitors, which are currently turned off because there's nobody running the op center part at night. All right. And uh, you see that there are there are two directions to go as well. You see one uh, leveled la uh, leveled labeled. That's a passable pronunciation of, of label in some places. One is labeled lab wing, and the other is labeled barracks wing. Oh, oh. And yeah, that's what you guys kind of stumble into. Okay. Now I'm curious, but I guess we could stop. 
We can. You guys can poke around next time. Find stuff out. Yeah. All righty. Uh, it's been real fun. We'll yeah. continue our quest for more stuff things mm -hmm. next time. It, yeah. Characters will, sh will search things. They might shoot people. Will the mountain explode? We'll find out. Please not. Yeah. Hopefully not. Next it's... time on Star Wars AP. Right. I mean, uh, Camo didn't didn't take one of the Beridium charges as a as a fun little party favor, so probably not, but you never know. Mostly because uh, I didn't trust it to take something out of the charge and then not cause an actual chain reaction, so I just didn't want to risk it. I mean, that's one of those famous axe assumptions. It's just you could have literally picked it up. They're just in shelves. Oh, oh okay. I thought I I was not focusing that intently during that scene, so I was like, wait, I was only thinking of I was only imaging torpedoes. So it's my bad. No, they had storage racks of the raw warhead. Okay. Yeah. Probably could have done it, but I don't know. Yeah. I mean, also, Viridium, since we have a little bit of free time, I can talk about how fucking nuts they are. Um, the, sure. the Viridium demo charges are crazy. It's like... Like, if we mishandle it, we could just kill yeah, it. Yeah, Viridium is... Yeah, Viridium, Viridium is... Uh, scale. Yeah, it's it's three planetary scale damage. It has a a long normal range yeah. blast radius. Yeah, it's um, personal. Yeah. Yeah, That's not uh, safe. but it's it's like E two, yeah, and every e additional two. charge you use um as plus one planetary uh, scale damage. It's pretty pretty baller. Yeah. A despair cool. result while reading the explosives causes it to detonate immediately. Uh, 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 that's scary. <laughs> and anything at close range takes a plus 50 to any critical injury yeah. or critical hit rolls. It's it's yeah. gnarly shit. It's, like, the, it's the shit they use in thermal detonators or proton torpedoes. So, like, if we ever had to do, like, an actual, like, my scale where we're here to wipe this off the map, I'll prepare some iridium charges. <laughs> yeah, that's your that's your big bada boom. Is I'm sinking this island with no survivor. We are breaking through this base. Okay. Let's go. But okay, uh, it's been fun. Let's see, let's see. You guys didn't really do any major like combat assertions, but you did ten. punch some like a, droids. Like a tenor, honestly? Five yeah, I think ten. that would be fair. Like, you guys dealt with the security team on both ends. Um, and also, you guys did clear the entire Lagoon base, so we can call that a 10 base. I do not think anybody went really out of their way to do any of their motivations, though, tonight. No, I don't think so. No. Yeah, no moves. Could talk about four things, but there's wasn't really any four things to talk about. Oh, we'll get there. <laughs> we have such sights to show you. No, actually, the, honestly, the underground part's probably the most interesting. It's all where, where all the weird shit is hidden. <laughs> this, this is where the, the players turn to me and say, you, the stuff we ran into before wasn't the weird shit, and I just smile like the Grinch. Also, <laughs> Loft could totally heal all of us because they didn't encounter now, but we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm at four. I'm not worried about it. Okay. I'm at, like, zero things. <laughs> I'm only at two, right. Also, you guys don't, I assume you guys don't need any strain recovery since you roll like 5 million advantage every time after you already had your strain recovery. Yeah. Everybody's talking about there. I still have zero strain because I never did combat. All right. So we'll, we'll, we'll go back to it and break down the underground base center. So y'all be yawning again. Um, next yeah. time. Yes. Yeah. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye. Now Bye. I gotta go find a thumbnail for this. Have a good night.